useful and important. You know. Uh, yeah. All right, we all gotta do. Our, our, actually, we all gotta do our tweets, guys. Quick, everyone, crack your knuckles into Twitter. <laughs> oh, yeah, here you go. Uh, guys, and I posted just something. Oh, burpee. <laughs> therapy. Can't oh, believe him. Therapy. I heard. I can't therapy. believe. Boiling piece I... of shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I need more dice. <laughs> To, to, to throw <laughs> and lose. Oh, har har. No, just to get, no, 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 no. Just, just, just give the giant less attacks. Mm, it's mostly for rolling health at this point. Um, but also like attacks and stuff. <laughs> to be fair, a lot of low level stuff, like it's bizarre. It's like roll like five D6s and add 10. And I'm like, yeah, like, what, what, uh, don't you love it when it's like, hey, here's a slime. Normally it has 10 HP, but you know what you could do? You could roll 12 D6s. Like, what the fuck are you on about? It's a CR1 monster. <laughs> I kind of like to do it because then it kind of makes... All right. I gotta do it. I gotta do an audio balance because I had to change the audio at Nick's house. Gotta oh. change it back here. Okay, real fast. Monty's... Hi, I'm talking. I'm on a yawn, but you asked me to talk, so I'm gonna talk. Laddie, talk! Hi, I'm... Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Senile. <laughs> Turning senile up to 125. Zito. Just type any message and press enter and it will appear for all other players. I am Goomba speak. Jesus saves. Everyone else takes damage. Ha ha. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the unexpected. Wait. Oh, wait a minute, I have theme music for this. Everyone, be quiet for approximately 45 okay. seconds. Right. Damn it. Like starting now. There we go. Now you can. Nick, I heard what you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. Hi, hi. How's it going, guys? Welcome to the Unexpectables a D and D uh, live podcast recording. We are again joined by our guest, our Lanny Pator. Everyone, snap for Lanny. Hi. X Nick, I'm thinking of the 500 bits, by the way, and a bunch of subs. I will call those out uh, a little bit later here. But Nick, so what's it like to be on more than one episode? Uh, so you know, uh, I can say as not having started this episode so far, uh, it's uh, honestly a dream come true. Uh, can't say it's a uh, uh -huh. like you know, a, you know, like a moderate dream, but still a dream. Like you know, it's not a nightmare. Oh, just wait, just wait. Fair. Yeah, you say that now. Okay, I, I will say when one of those uh, giants did like two uh, Borky, my entire like Digsby's entire hit point pool and damage. I'm like, whoo! To okay. be fair, to be fair, that was a crit. To be fair, that, yes, that that is to be that is fair. But that is a scary thing to get a crit, but that was a crit. To be fair, to be fair, Nick, there's only a chance in one in twenty of every attack yeah. that happening. Numbers are scary. And I mean, look how many times you I get in that one. Are. Surely that will matter. Yeah, no, it surely it's got to balance Jack itself out somehow. <laughs> that Art Jack, 300 bits, thank you so much. Mita Tempest, 100 bits, thank you so much. Uh, Ace Rama, 800 bits, thank you so much. Uh, Sam Spider-Man, 100 bits. Uh, Lexel Electro Metal, 510 bits, thank you so much for the bits, guys. Guys, thank you so much for all the monetary support you guys send our way. Don't forget that we do have a shirt. Chill and snaps. And a pod and a pod and a podcast. Please whoa, Thunder King. Damn, whoa, Thunder King. 2,500 bits. I got my tax return today. Have some Woo! bits. Strider, thank you so much for the 10 month resub. Sugar Daddy Fistums. 2,000 bits. So glad to finally catch another one. He's live. Thank you so much. Oh my god, you're uh, you're sick off at work? Well, thank you so much for swinging by here. Real quick, and DRK, uh, Ganda, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Now, uh, it, it is 10 copper for uh, Dig Speed to Dig You a Hole, which translates to, in bit language, 5 bajillion oh, bits. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty well, sure it's 10 bits. 
being copper and all. Mm-hmm. No, it, no, it's a hundred because it's it's based on yen. That's fair. <laughs> um, okay. so, I, I real, guess. Real, 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 real. What? what? Nick, 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 Nick. Where can they find oh, you? Oh, on, on the, the internet, internet, they can find me places such as twittercom slash or twitch.tv slash or youtubecom slash All, all of them Zito spelled the same way. Find... Yeah. <laughs> okay, Zito, but Zito, but Zito. Well, but what about Zito though, Nick? Zito, where can I don't, I don't, know, don't ask me. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck it, fuck am I? Who am I? Twitch.tv slash Zito. I do the art streams. I do the video games. Corbett just happening on Friday, and uh, Sunday will be Monster Hunter. No pickles though. That's fun, next fun. week, and unfortunately, next week I will not be here on the weekend because I'm going back to New York for a weekend to visit my cousin's uh, son's first birthday. When you talk about streams, I feel like you talk in code, like you're speaking some sort of jive. D- no, it's, it's Esperanza. Target. No, Nick. No, 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 no. We're it's playing good. cribbage. No pickles. We're playing cribbage, <laughs> and I'm talking in Esperanto. Get on my fucking level. Ah, okay. okay. The the penguin. Thank you for the five month Please. resub. Back card twenty one thousand bits. Yay turtles. Here's money to dig all the holes. Cat Lyco, 500 bits with my tax return. I was able to pay off my student loan. Can I get an A, man? You can get a newt newt from the chat. Katie Cat, thank you so much for the seven month resub. And Sashkin, thank you so much for the sub. Now, Goomba, where can they you find You can also you? find me here on the Twitch at Gaijin Goomba, no H. I will also be upping the crubbage this weekend. And if you like uh, small. Sp- Is there a pickle? There will Is be there no pickle pickles, involved? god damn it. Okay, I will be playing cribbage too with mm, pickles. How dare Fucking you? Fucking a, guys. There we go. Anyway, yeah. if you if you like small, adorable, squeaky women, my wife will be playing with me, and it will be fantastic. I hope to also resurrect Jack the Electric Cowboy in Fallout Four, hopefully next week. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Real fast, Volvagnos with ten thousand bitcoin bit drop. That's a lot of holes you can dig. That's a lot. That's okay. a lot of holes. Get okay. to digging. <laughs> Now don't don't go for length, go for width. Digsby always digs for girth. <laughs> oh yes. Ten thousand bits, thank you so much. Now, real fast. Oh my god. Yuki two eight six nine, eleven hundred bits. I love all of you guys. You're the best. Thank you, Yuki two eight. Rolling for dig. Thank you so much. <laughs> Quit the kid, five hundred bits, a rain of bits, beat cake, tornado. That's a really good dig thank roll. You so much. Yeah. yeah, it was. That's a very that's a very good dig roll. Now, now, real fast. Snake, where can they find you? Can you can find me on Twitter at CNL Snake. You can find me on Twitch at CNL Snake with a three instead of an E at the end. What are you planning on adding an H and all to that? Because uh, that might confuse uh, me a bit. Mm, uh, or pickles mm, or cribbage? Uh, Cripple, no, 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 pick- no, 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 no. Pickles and cribbage will be coming later. <laughs> so are you a pro pickle or anti pickle? I'm so cribbage? fucking happy that Taka has no idea what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> No, I know. You know what? Maybe I do. Maybe I do know, Zeno. I don't, but maybe I do. <laughs> it's cribbage with an H. Just say that. It'll eternally confuse him. Where's the H? It's a silent H. Probably cribbage. Probably G. Okay, okay. So Axel Magnus, 500 bits. Yay, made it on time for the first time. Here's some bits for the team. Axel Magnus, thank you so Beautiful. much. And from Dixon Sadme, there's like two H's there. 2,500 bits, no message, just that. Dixon Sadman, thank you so much. I see you have H in your name. And Riku9619, thank you for the two-month resub. Alrighty, Monty, where can they oh, find uh, you? Oh, sorry, I'm just skimming through a book here. Um, uh, They can find me at Monty Blue on Twitter and twitch.tv forward slash Monty Blue uh, on Twitch. Now, I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear rumblings. About uh, working on it. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Joker 18 Jr., 300 bits and change. Thank you so much for being the good boy. And blindies play better than you. 500 bits. Hey, can I get I, I can I get it a it's time to get orchids uh, for a friend who's going into eye surgery oh, soon? Nickname for her now is nickname for her now is Sweet Dragon. Also, Monty, you're a top tier DM. You're a top tier DM. Uh, it's time to get okay. It's time to get bulky. It's time to see. Best of luck. For the surgery. Dragon Man 999, 1100 bits. Dragon of Man. Oh my goodness. So, so, so Taka, Dragon I have Man. a question. Uh, yeah. Where can they find you? I can't yeah. find it because the H is silent. Where's the H? <laughs> you got, you got, you got it. It's, 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 it's Taka. 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 Where's the H? At the end. Silent. Like the reverse of me. 
Um, Put on Tish. Uh, Smith, thank you for the hundred <laughs> bits. Uh, Dixon said there. One one thousand bits. No bits, just message. Wait, <laughs> that that doesn't tr- that 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 doesn't translate. Cryptic side, Jane, take my lucky bits talker and roll no nat ones tonight. One thousand bits. I'm not on the I'm not on that show down south. Emon says hundred bits. Thank you so much. Sorry, eighty eight. One thousand fifty bits. Don't worry, guys. We'll get going here. Uh, me and Tempest, hundred bits. Now, guys, real fast. Also, for my own personal streams, I uh, of course will be continuing Fred Space. Which is a show I do. Hooray. I want to say it's fun. Full of sp- full of spin. Anyways, I'm also on Fridays. I am also doing uh, the Burning Youth of Yours here with, Yo. with Lenny here. And occasionally you might get an ASMR radio stream and you might be seeing some Vermintide 2 streams. Oh, hell those are, yeah. Uh, those are, we're, we're doing, we, uh, well, like, as of right now, we're doing those uh, Monday afternoons with Kaiser. Yeah, but I'm I'm just gonna do them with by myself Ooh. too though because I fucking love it's this a very game. Fun game. It's a very good game. It's very good. Alrighty, uh, Monty, I, I hear you ang- oh. very angrily <laughs> grabbing dice. <laughs> no, I'm them. sorry. I didn't realize I was picking up. I'm so sorry. Um, yes, I'm just making yeah. sure I have my dice ready. Uh, and, and the floor but, uh, is prepped but, uh, for you to throw them on. Yeah, it's clean. I swept it. It's good. You should just make the floor like you should just put like a kitty pool around your chair, and then just have that be like one big dice pool. Like now one that's. Big dice pool. that's I could just start throwing it into my that... fish tank. <laughs> oh, that. No, that's a di- now that's a dice roller. Is a small kitty pool. Can't... Yeah, try to try to jump into it like Scrooge one... McDuck into his buddy. It's not a liquid. It's really not. <laughs> It's a very but, fine But if he metal, has like enough metal. air jets down there, it can act as a liquid. Ooh. Mm-hmm. He's rich enough to have that too. We are the 99%. We I want that episode. <laughs> where the core the core the core the where the bourgeoisie are overthrown in that universe. I wanna see I wanna see it at the whole show ends kind of like breaking bad, except with a hey, guillotine. Ta- ta- but anyways, that actually guys, happens in the comic. Yeah. <laughs> There's a there's a communist uprising in my goddamn in, in the Carl's Bark universe. Yes, life is like Woo-hoo! a hurricane. <laughs> okay, it just, I just, is it wrong that's a human doing Louis just like wrapped in bandages with loaded guns? <laughs> oh, no. See, this is this is. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So, uh, are you ready to take us away to a magical kingdom where I'm not being yeah. born, Nadine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. Love that. <laughs> Alrighty, let me grab my dice, move them out of the way here, and let's get started. When last we left our heroes, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Task the Cobalt Ranger, and our newfound hero, Digsby the Tortle Paladin. The party set out on their next adventure. Taking on a new friend in the form of Digsby, the party set out to the unknown reaches of Alabast in search of a component needed by a group of conjurers to make a teleportation circle. Setting out past Ginter's Folly, the party arrived to find a local winery besieged by a pack of hungry hill giants. Using their various skills, the party vanquished the vile creatures and kindly buried their corpses. After looting and setting the winery owners on the path towards safety, the party then found the old fortune teller from the Alabastian Harvest Vessel tucked away in the edge of the woods. As brief as the fortune teller was, He gave a hint to the party to stash away their gold, a hint that Borky the Orc was able to interpret as very important. After burying their own gold, the party went to rest, but during the night, in the blink of an eye, the fortune teller and his cart vanished. The party checked their gold and stayed the cold night through. Now they awake at dawn, ready to continue their adventure. Who took last watch? I did. You did? Freckles did, yeah. It gets cold when you're on your watch. Um, it is definitely like like autumn, early winter. Um, you're able to see your breath. You're kind of hugging yourself. Um, everybody else in their bedrolls are look pretty okay, but even you guys who are sleeping and, and Digsby, you included, there's a chill to the air. Uh, I would uh, at cold. that point. Do we have a fire going? Because if not, I would I would definitely like katon me up one. Uh, I believe the fortune teller had a fire in the middle, uh, which I'm uh, sure you guys would upkeep. But right. yes. s- still, as dawn awakens, like mm-hmm. you, you can tell it's pretty cold. Like you kind of have to do the the thing, like a rotisserie, where you keep moving around, <laughs> yeah, yeah. keep yourself warm. <laughs> Turn yeah. myself on a spit. <laughs> yeah, but uh, <laughs> eventually your companions rise up as the uh, sun does rise. It's very cloudy. 
um, and you hear the sounds of birds flying from treetop to treetop, and there's some cold dew on the uh, on the grass surrounding the encampment. But you do away. Uh, come on, guys, get up, get up. Uh. Porky, get up. Uh. 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 Um. All right, hang on, crap bastards. I'm going to I'm going to uh, minor illusion right like right next to Borky, uh, the sound of a very angry lion. Okay, you guys hear this this echoing roar right next to uh, Borky's head and Borky. Um, what's the? It's a perception, right? Yes. I need Borky. I need you to roll a perception for me. Uh, DC thirteen. <laughs> It scares 11. the dickens out of you. You you, Woo! you jump out of your bedroll and you're immediately hit with the, the humid coldness of fall as you jolt away. Ah. What the hell is that? Greco's just hunched over, like, clutching himself, rolling his eyes. Uh-huh. You think that's loud? Try this off us eyes. It's time to get okay. Wait. It's time to get bulky. Okay. It's long distance, you see, far away from a valley. The birds all scatter. <laughs> Little songbirds, there's a woodpecker that's like, and flies away. Mid. And with that, Digsby wakes up. Yeah, you <laughs> pop out. <laughs> it's a might nippy out to die. No, ever. Alex, do you require do you require moisture or will you die without it? I'll be all right. I'm just going to be a little slow getting up. Orky's not a damn snail. <laughs> There's, I've been you you watch, snail. You're looking you over at Tasks' bedroll, you see a small crinkled hand with a knife etching kill in the floor, <laughs> while the rest of him is hidden inside the bedroll. Perfect. Now everything that didn't know we were here does. It's true, so now they know not to mess with us. Mm -hmm. So much for subtlety. Mm -hmm. What? I mean... Imagine this for a second. We're in a valley. It's never, we've not, it's no, no one's ever been here before, right? So that's the first time they realize that it's time. I'm going to throw an Borky. apple at Borky's head. <laughs> okay, uh, Borky, roll a. Uh, Can I catch it with a uh, mouth? Dexterity. Uh, just, let's say just a dexterity check. And then a dexterity. It, five. It hits you. Uh, no, you're throwing it at him, okay. I'll just say. Uh, Borky, you. It hits your mouth, but you don't bite into it. It just hits oh. your teeth. It hurts. Ah! Eat, eat oh! up, big, eat uh. up, big guy. We got a long road ahead. Yeah, All everybody right. write off. Everybody okay. write off a ration for today. All right. Uh, I'm gonna roll survival because I kind of want to see like, I want to get a little bit more of a better layout of like how dense is this forest, how like desperately bad is the cold, and is it gonna hinder our move? Okay. Real fast. Sorry, I gotta, I'm juggling a bunch of notebooks. Also, Borky, you better be happy because you got a free ration. <laughs> That's true. Go, I don't even have to cross off one of my rations. That's lovely. And survival that 24. is a 24. That's really good. Um, during the day, you should probably be okay in terms of coldness. Um, if there's any elevation, it might be a concern. Um, nighttime, also, you probably will want to fire at night. Uh, if not, you'd probably get pretty cold. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys do have bed rolls, which kind of helps, but if you guys are still traveling at winter time, it's going to be a little rough. Borky, um, do me a favor. I'm sorry. What's that? Uh, yeah. How's how do you feel about chopping down a tree? I mean, yeah. All right, find me a find me a good one. <laughs> Gathering some uh, firewood would probably be smart if we head up north and it, we start to elevate. Uh, Monty, what do I roll to get Athletics. a good one? Or to seek out a good tree, or to... Yeah, I, yeah, I want to... What do I roll to find nature. a good one? Roll knowledge nature. Knowledge nature, negative one. Let's do it, and that's yeah, you find one. one. You, you walk over near the encampment. Uh, you actually walk over where the fortune teller's caravan used to be, and just kind of step over uh, that. Um, okay, he very carefully walk... Borky walks <laughs> around where the car okay. was. He, like, sidles around it. Uh, and you find a tree, uh, and I want you to roll an athletics check to chop down the tree. Oh, I wish I were a lumberjack, a lumberjack. Athletics. I wish I were a lumberjack, a lumberjack today. 
It's not a very like it's not like an oak tree or anything. It's small enough that it's wood that you can carry. Um, if I gave you a ridiculously big tree, you guys would be trapped there all day. Uh, yeah. You imagine if I kind of like yeah. a year old, maybe two year old sapling, uh, and you just chalk, 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 and you eh, it falls, and you just manage to kind of chop it up into pieces. At this point, the time it takes you to do that, I'd say, brings you. You guys woke up around like maybe six a.m. It brings you guys to probably around like eight o'clock ish. That's fine. So long as we like mm. walking around with some actual tinder would be wise, considering how cold it's gonna get. Okay, and I assume you pack that into the bag of holding. Yes. Okay, watch out for that bag because it can get full. Mm -hmm. um, you already got a lot of stuff in there. Uh, assumedly, you dumped most of the things uh, from your. Mo mo stuff stairs. I can't carry, I would put in. Yeah. All right. Uh, other than that, the campfire pitters out as your guys' stay there ends, and as you pull out your magic compass given to you by Merrick's, um, it. I just realized his name is Merrick's. I bury. I, I bury. Yeah, I bury the fire pit. Hmm. You do. You just dig over it. Uh, you also notice things because you get up. Both of the gold piles have not been touched whatsoever. You were sleeping on top of them, so it's kind of hard. But all right. So Monty, thank you for providing me. Like you should also explain to everyone what's going on on screen right now. Uh oh. Uh, this is your map. So this is an uncharted area. So uh, task in the off time that we had bought a click uh, cartographer set. Uh, with some gold, and now he has access to basically draw a map of this area, so they get to discover stuff. All um, right, money really quick before we get too far in. Um, around like kind of at the base of the tree, uh, where our gold is buried. Let's see here. I want to etch that symbol into the base trunks of the trees what what what, what is what is the symbol Goomba, for those oh, who can't see it is the wonderful kanji of gold all right I you see. take it, it and you you etch it into the tree is that a bench borky's looking at him as he's actually it. borky it's a house no that's a tree it turns into a house after you chop it down i'm gonna go ahead and see where the compass wants me to go all right. Um, idea. Would it be actually... good to what's mark your map with that symbol? Mm. Yes, it would. Actually. That's actually not a half bad idea. Let me let me go ahead and butcher this. Here I go. Yeah, it doesn't let you use your stylus, so you yeah, it doesn't. Let, yeah, my my stylus doesn't work on here. So get ready for this hot garbage. I'm sorry, Goomba. Here we go. It's just a bunch of lines. You're fine. I just wanted to be cute. Click draw. We're now watching tasks. <laughs> Dude, tasks. is is task Bob Ross? A happy kidding. little hollow point. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Right. Um, Your whole family gets wiped out by a dragon. Just a happy, just, little <laughs> just just a happy little singe mark on your soul. Um, <laughs> who has the compass? By the way, I do. Yep, you do. Okay, you are glad you pulled that compass because you actually get a little bit turned around. Um, you were just like, okay, we're going to go this way because we came from here, but you actually get a little bit mixed around. The marks of the caravan on the actual, like, area where you guys slept are kind of all over the place in a way. And as you guys began to move around, you did lose sense of your direction. So you managed to get pointed in the direction. You actually turn, like, 180 because you almost went the wrong way. Uh, but it is pointing, uh, currently what looks like the, uh, westward direction at the moment. Uh... Like a more north or more just straight west? Uh, more kind of straight west. Okay, cool. So, uh, actually, kind of a yeah, kind of like yeah, northwest, probably a little bit more. Northwest. Okay, so mm -hmm. I guess we'll get going until we find a new landmark. I'll update the map. Okay. What's uh, the what's the terrain like that we're headed in? It is sparse trees, um, very thick, lush um, foliage. Um, Can uh, Bor Borky like to climb a tree and just look in the distance with his orky eyes? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. Nineteen. 19. Nice. All right, you you easily right, just well, uh, Digsby is you're just filling up the fire pit. You just watch as the orc like a gorilla just starts <laughs> climbing up a tree next to you. I'm doing what you can only describe as uh, gymnastics that you might see in the cinematic masterpiece Jurassic Park do, do, 2. Do, 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 uh, what do I see? Uh, roll a perception check. Yeah, what do your orc eyes oh, no. see? What do my orc eyes see? Let me take a look. Hmm. 
Seven. Seven. It's lots of trees. And it also kind of gets a little bit hilly as you progress forward. And by hilly, I mean there's hills. Uh, it's nothing but trees uh, and dead hills. Here, big guy, let me help you out with that. Uh, I'd like to acrobatics my way up to uh, join him. Okay. 14. Okay, you, you manage to climb. You snap a few twigs on your way up. Um, and as you get kind of to the top, the tree sways a little bit. Uh, Whoa, careful, careful, careful. I got it, I got it. All right. 22 perception. You see the same thing. Balls. But you do catch a glimpse of something, some forms, uh, kind of up ahead. Uh, you swear you see kind of the flash of a wing and then something landing, maybe like a large bird. Hmm. <laughs> Bird how, about how far, like mile or so? Uh, don't do this to me because I'm all right. Kill, kilometers, <laughs> kilometers, kilometers, fine. Jeez. Uh, maybe it's hard to gauge because of all the foliage, it's kind of confusing. Maybe like five between five to ten kilometers. All right, it's a fair I'll... distance away, but you just barely see it. I'll hop and my you, way back down. You do also notice some birds scattering as well. Oh, as they land, or as the thing happens? As the big wing, you notice it, you see little tiny birds, just like in your encampment, like, all fly away. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right, Borky come pops up. Boom, you land on the ground. The ground is soft and cold. Well, scouting report, gents. I saw a wing of some sort, maybe Griffin? Task? Mm. Why did it have to be birds? It sounds about right if we're going up hills. Do you think... Nah, couldn't be. Anyway, we might want to be very careful. It, it was a bit of a distance away, but, well, unknown territories and all that. Stay out of clearings, then. Exactly. Uh, all right, digs me. Time to get going. Okay, you good to go? I holster my shovel. Arms beast, time to come out. <laughs> he kind of goes and <laughs> reattaches to your side. Ah, uh, I just... Ah. Uh, Borky grabs his arm where, like, just the robot. Just, just, <laughs> rub, just rubs his arm a little bit to the side. Could... <laughs> and we're just kind of rubbing their arm, like, mm. uh, Could I have the marching order, please? Uh, I guess I'll go I... first. Task, you're going first? Okay. Borky second. Borky, okay. Panic's in the middle. Um, Greckles will be at the end, uh, but in cover if possible for stealth. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I was going to say, uh, Digsby was going to try to take up the vanguard, make sure nothing, like, if anything snuck up on them, he'd be yeah. there. Okay. And, and hearing and hearing Greckles talk about that there might be griffins, like I said, keeping away from open clearings. Yeah. So Alrighty. I guess I'll go ahead and roll real quick. 24 stuff. Okay. It, there's enough foliage that you have uh, enough space to kind of hide. Um, the trees are all fairly new growth, which is kind of nice to see. Mm -hmm. um, you get the sense that potentially with, with the, the winery that maybe they logged some trees from here and that mm -hmm. these are just some new saplings that have come in since like the creation of Alavast. Um, Cause you do see a few stumps and things like that, but it looks like that's about all this area has ever encountered for the most part. You see, as you guys walk forward and the morning progresses, you see all kinds of wildlife. You see a few foxes kind of scatter from your path. You see in, in long distances far off, uh, a few deer uh, running off. Um, nothing of any sort of like wolf or, or bear sort of uh, variety. Considering the fact that it's kind of around hibernation time, you get the sense that they're probably uh, getting, getting ready or already settled. Um, and the trees are varieties. There's birches, crisp white birches with, with fluttering leaves that are now falling down as autumn kind of takes them over. You guys reach paths where you just see an absolute rainbow of oranges and crisp reds as you walk. And as you do walk, it does get a little cold. Uh, at points, you see your breath as it gets kind of overcast and then the sun reemerges and you're warmed again. Um, who is it? Okay, Task, you're in the front. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Borky, Panic, and Digsby, I need you guys to make a uh, perception check. Okie dokie. Okay. Jinx, you owe me a sign. 21. 21, okay. And I rolled a nine. Nine. <laughs> 19. Uh, Panic, you are currently being bombarded by like two butterflies <laughs> as you're walking. <laughs> Whoa. <sighs> 
bombarded? I see. Yeah, yeah, he's I know. <laughs> Do we need to roll initiative? <laughs> haven't you? Haven't you? Haven't you heard of the butterfly effect? He's gonna <laughs> die in five hundred years. Uh, the butterflies <laughs> appear to be attracted to the uh, the nature of your jacket. They seem to think it's like a, maybe like some sort of flower or something. I don't know. They leather, perhaps attracted to the aroma of which you smell. But they're currently like one of them like flies into your eyeball for a second and. Ah. and uh, <laughs> Uh, Digsby and Borky, as you two are walking, you hear, <laughs> and you hear, oh. getting closer and closer and closer. And as that happens, you see erupting from off of a rock, rolling down one of the hills, a large log that's coming right at the three of you. I need you all to roll uh, dexterity saving throws for me. Oh my oh god. Boy. Fucking butterflies. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 turtle that's... boy! Turtle boy! Uh oh! What'd you roll, that's man? What'd you roll, man? The... Oh! Well, that... well, ain't that a thing? <laughs> that's... Okay, so I I shouldn't take away from this, but if there's an artist, it's gotta have him just go with the same expression, looking to the right, same expression, eyes looking up, same expression with a shadow on his face. <laughs> oh. Hey, oh. hey, does anybody else see that? Panic and Borky, you also need to make saves as well. Yeah, I know. But that's just Oogway. That's just straight up Oogway. 17. Right now. Does, it, does it look like a hole? You have advantage too, because of your dangerous sense. Okay. Uh, Borky and Panic. Panic, you just drop to the ground as this as this log just comes launching up. It like does a jump, like there's a rock, so it rolls down the hill, goes off of the rock, and comes flying at you. You manage to duck down. Borky, you like dive next to task. And it digs me, you're like, huh? And you just get absolutely hammered in the face. Oh I'm <laughs> so sorry. Is Digsby there then not there? No, he's he's fine. <laughs> just cuts a frame when he's gone. Fucking okay. uh, oh. money. <laughs> you take seven points of bludgeoning damage as you're hit right in the face. And as the log like proceeds down, it, it hits a tree and like <laughs> stops. You see Digsby's head is gone. <gasps> and then it oh, pops out of his shell. <laughs> oh! The, the, the oh pops out. Big, right? Look out! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, Task! Task! Oh my God! He can regrow his uh, head. Money. Task! I would like you to do a perception check with advantage. Uh, yes. Well, I was gonna ask if I'm up. In my, is there too much foliage for me to to see what's going on? Uh, you see, um, it's it's not terrible, but you do see what happens. Poor Digsby gets absolutely hammered in the face. Twenty one. Twenty one. Um, Task! You hear that? <laughs> You hear the flying of wings, and you recognize the sound from your time and your clutch. They're harpies, and they descend, landing on the trees around you, pursuing the log. I want everybody to roll initiative. God damn, ah. that didn't take long. Tash just bites the, bottom, bites the bottom of his lip. Oh, fuck. Hello, my oh, name's God. Digsby. He's short Are we getting... but Shoot him! <laughs> 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 Are we getting... Fight uh, music okay. here. Are, are we getting some? Here I go, PTSD. Are we getting yeah. into some favorite enemy territory? Uh, no, because they're not humanoids technically. They're monstrosities, I believe. Oh, are they? Uh, yeah. can we tell how many are around? Oh yeah, you see, currently the first one that lands on the rock is first up, decked out in armor, um, and appears to have a weapon. The rest of them appear to be just kind of like the followers, and they all land in perch and trees. Oh god, natural one. Uh -huh. Oh man. So. That works in story. Yeah, you freeze when you see these things. You've met harpies before. They're a lot smaller than these ones. In fact, some of these harpies, some of them are male, which is kind of bizarre. Whoa. But, uh, but how do they look? Do, are they, are, 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 do, do they look like the main characters from Free? Oh my no. God. <laughs> what? No. Taka, really? <laughs> I'm asking for no, the chat. Oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, initiative. have to lewd everything. Okay, Greco. So you're saying they're cars then? There's a couple of cars in the audience right now. Forky, and then Bigsby, and then Panic. Wow, you guys all like rolled in order. That's amazing. Wow. Yeehaw. That actually is kind of a. All right, let's roll for the harpies here. Ooh, not bad. That puts you guys. Ooh, actually above Forky. I love Borky. No, that, you'll see. All right, Greco, <laughs> no. you are up first. 
do I know what these things are and what they might be? Uh... Knowledge, uh, knowledge arcana. 12. You've heard of harpies. You've seen them in like art. They're monsters. They're definitely not good. Um, and they, you know that they eat people. So generally not a great trait to have. Where's Taurus, by the way? In he the is roll? Right. Uh, he is after you. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna cl- I'm gonna class my talents together. Yoritsukai, Genjutsu, and I'm gonna to uh, pull the old Griffin Illusion trick out. Have it uh, appear to be flying out from the tree that I'm currently sitting in, and okay. just dashing its way down to the harpies. Oof, that's an 18 plus. Oh yeah, thir- 13. 13. Yeah, no. Um, the other harpies like begin to startle, and you see the other one go, "It's false! It's false! Don't believe it!" And she shrink pulls out a weapon. Shit, they're intelligent. <laughs> Scary bird lion. Uh, was that in common? Yeah, they speak common. Yeah, they're smart. Oh, scary. Yeah, she All pulls right, out. It looks case. like a wicked-looking spear that she's kind of guarding, like guiding the other harpies with. Maybe we can negotiate with. Oh yes, let's negotiate with the whole. They can have panic. We can have safe. It's what? false. Tass shoots an arrow. Is that false? <laughs> All right. In that case, um, I'm going to. I need you to click your illusion spell too, so I know what what oh. that takes for an action. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. It's fine. Let me get my spell list up. Sorry. Uh, silent image. There you go. Okay. Okay. So I took your action. So you have a bonus action. Okay. Um. Is this is this brown also foliage? Uh, yeah, it's like very small shrubs. Okay. Uh, the log as well. Um, oh, we'll get to that later. The log is resting there at that point. Okay, because I would just want to move over there, and then that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, that brings us to the harpies. Uh, let's they see. Yeah, lie. they did. Oof. Okay. A harpy, uh, seeing Dixie, seeing you wounded, is actually going to take advantage of that. It's going to fly over, Hello. Uh, land with her spear, and she is going to attempt to stab you with it. Oh, no. That's, That's a two. Rude. She goes and she thrusts it, and you hear a <laughs> as it hits your shell. She's like, <laughs> Hello. My name's Digsby. It's short for Digs, but... <laughs> It looks very, very mad at you. The next harpy is going to descend upon you, I believe, Taz. Let's see how it's movement. How much flight speed do you have? Cat! This one is going to fly over and land in front of you. It doesn't have a weapon, uh, but it takes out its claw, which it's got two. That is a 19 to hit you. That'll hit. That'll hit, okay. Oh, that's two plus one. So that's three points of damage. She rolled two ones, god damn it. Uh, she's gonna go for another claw attack though. She slices your cheek with the first slice. Like she swings her arm super wide and you back away, but she's so much bigger than what you're used to. You actually do manage to get nicked. Uh, the second attack, that's a, oh wait, no, actually it might not be a miss. I thought that was a four, that's a 14, that's a plus three, that's a 17. That's a match. That's a match that hits then. Okay, that is three plus two, that's five plus one. That's six points of slashing damage as she reaches around with the other claw and kind of cuts your ear, actually. And she bares her teeth, this sort of crooked nose, vulture-like face and like a, a knotted tree branch neck. It's not very pretty. Uh, the next harpy is going to take off into the air and is going to fly over here and assess the situation at the moment. She just kind of. Oh no! It's she's airborne at the moment. This one. Can you put a symbol up or something yeah. for that? Wing symbol. There we go. This okay. one is going to also make its way. Uh, it screams, "Follow the matriarch!" and makes their way over. Uh, this one also follows and actually lands on the rock. This, so this one's flying. The other one lands. So that ends their turn. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. You currently see giant flying women. That's crazy. No, if I were out of character, I'm trying to think of what to do in this situation right now. I can't metagame, so I'm just trying to think what the best combat situation is. I Walk up to him and hit him with your axe. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out where I should position myself. Uh-huh. All right, Borky's going to. Uh, Borky's going to move up to the one that attacked Task, actually. Okay. 
Uh, Borky's gonna move. Uh, Borky's gonna go into a rage first. Do you want to flank it? You have enough space to go around the other side to flank it. Yep, I wanna, okay. I wanna flank it. Exactly. Borky runs up. Okay. Right behind Tice, because after you see Tass taking damage, and Tass, no Tass, they ain't supposed to get close to you. You're supposed to stay back and hit him. And Borky swings down after going into a rage down against the harpy that dare hurt his knocker. Okay. That 25. is. Damn. Uh, hold on. 12 what you, plus what two. What did you roll with that? Okay, that's a 17. Wow. That's 14 points of damage. Holy Hannah. All right. And, and Borky goes for another swing. No, 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 the only oxen for that 18. That hits. And 16 Holy plus shit. two. Jeez. Okay. Task, as you're sliced one side and then the other, you see Borky just start screaming and yelling. And he says words, he goes, He's saying something, you think, but he's so angry. He walks up, he swings up the axe on one side, slices off one of its wings clean off. And before he can even react to its wing being cut off, Borky swings his axe and just lobs off its head. And it oh. just, its claws curl inward into its its palm and it just curls up completely and falls over dead Sick. on the ground. Ah, uh, I need to roll a wisdom saving throw for the harpies. Okay, that's, you're smart enough and you're smart enough. All right, cool. Uh, it is now, Dixby, it's now your turn. Uh, the harpy in front of you is very confused. Uh, seems kind of like stunned at what happened, not being able to stab you right through the stomach. Yeah, I, I, I feel I feel like they probably haven't run into many things like me. No. Uh, as, as, I, as I pull out my shovel, sorry, ma'am, I believe we're at an impasse. And I, uh, <laughs> Cast magic weapon on my sh shovel, which is a bonus action. Okay, so, can you click the spell? Oh, oh, perfect, yes. you did. Awesome, thank you. And so basically it's just a plus one weapon, counts as magic. Nice. And for my first attack, I'll go ahead and swing it. That hits. And so this will be plus three because of my dueling and uh, yeah, the plus one, or plus, hold on, is it plus three for dueling? Okay, yeah, no, it's plus two for dueling and plus one for the magic weapon. So that's thir er, 11 damage. Yeah. Nice. So you and, hit the lady in front of you. Uh, and then I right. that's 11. Yeah, then I'll right. swing again. Okay. That hits. Oh, wait, hold on. Yes, that still hits. Okay. And plus Ooh. three is 14. 14, not bad. You bring the shovel and you smack this lady over the head. It's like you guys hear a gonging noise as you watch as Digsby pulls the blade. It begins to glow with this sort of almost greenish, ethereal, divine presence to this, this radiance to it. You watch as Dig Digsby actually swings the shovel. The divine radiance almost leaves a trail as he pulls back his weapon. And as you crack your shovel into the side of this thing's ribs, there's like an explosion like fireworks. Sick. of this ethereal damage and then you swing back again and you hit her over the head like like a whack-a-mole and it comes <laughs> erupting out and you just hear ah! as you kind of like you hear crack as her, her her head now goes into her body in a way Ugh. it's okay you'll be in the earth soon uh that ends your turn oh, just pop it back out it'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> uh happens Kenneth. to me all the time turtle turtle Dixby is turtly enough for this turtle club. Oh my god. Uh, panic, it is now your turn. All right, I'm just checking some ranges here real quick before I do what I'm going to do. Close my character sheet again like an idiot. Uh, wow. Let's see. Wow. Let's see the range on this. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> well, Panic's going to uh, pull out his other instruments that he uses. Okay. The pipes of haunting, to be exact. Oh. And he's gonna he's gonna put the he's gonna put them up to his mouth, and he's gonna be like, "This is the part where you run away." And he's gonna play the pipes of haunting. All right. Is there a way to click, Give him a click doodle. that again? I can't remember if I input that. Yeah. Nice. Uh, okay. You are yeah you are proficient with wind instruments. One yep. Action, Thirty foot radius from yourself. So yeah, you hit all of them. Uh, DC 15 wisdom saving throw for all of them. Saving throw, all right. So that's four of them. Matriarch. That is a 13 plus zero, so that's a fail. Mm -hmm. One. That's a 17, so that's a pass. The one flying in the air here 
uh, doesn't seem to be affected. This one here. That's a seven, that's a fail. This one is affected. I'm gonna give them that mark to indicate that they are now frightened. And then this last one in the air, that's a fail as well, that's an eight. So they all, already some of them are looking really like, like maybe this isn't the best idea. Uh, now you've convinced them. They are all mostly, except for the one that looks very brave, are all extremely terrified looking. Uh, that takes your action. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Yes, I am going to use my bonus action to cast Healing Word on Digsby. Okay. Everyone will falter if you die. That is Hellish Rebuke. That is not Healing Word. <laughs> Please don't burn me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Level one. There you go. Eight healing. Back nice. to full. Oh, well, thank you. Ready. Thank you, yeah. nice demon man. Does that end your turn there, Panic? Yeah, yeah. He's, Panic's, right. just, Panic's just wondering if he should take offense to that or not, because he's typically a devil man. <laughs> mug, 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 you mug, mug. God damn it, I'm sorry. It is now your turn. Uh, which one of them uh, called out was the matriarch? Uh, this one in front of Digsby on the ground currently. She's Her head's been bashed in a little bit. Yeah, Task will Task will tell uh, Taurus to subdue. Okay. Task will then look, point to her. Keep her alive. If she falls, the others will lose will. So I she, will she, throw a net. I will run. I will run, run up and throw a net on her. Okay. Oh, I oh. oh, shoot! <gasps> I forgot to input your stuff. I'm so sorry. That's what I forgot to do. Oh, shoot. Hold on, let me grab it real quick. I knew I forgot something. There you go. No worries. There you go. I hope you're enjoying the show tonight, Chuck. This one I have to dig out. All right, that is in your items now. If you want to click it, you can. I sure would. Here I go. Fuck. That totally misses. Yes. In fact, she actually like backhands it away. It seems like they know, kind of, she's like, not that again! And she, like, oh dude, fuck you, I'll do it again. Two attacks. Uh, is that with that type of weapon though? I have two base attack, two. Let me double check real quick, because that's a special item. It's a yeah, special technically weapon. you throw a net, don't you? Mm. Yeah, it's it's got specifics to it. Oh, then, I, then, I, then I actually have to take a space back then, because if I'm throwing it, I can't be up next to her. Uh, it's whole battles for the birds, guys. Oh my god. Let me find so bad. Here. Bird Special up. weapons. A large or smaller creature hit by a net is restrained until it's free. A net has no effect on creatures that are formless or creatures that are huge or larger. Uh, it's doing okay. Strength check. Then by slashing damage. Bonus. Uh, all right, when you use an action, bonus action, or reaction to attack with the net, you can only make one attack regardless of the number of attacks you can normally make. So you can only use it once. All right, well, net's out, then I'll just pot shot her in the head with a fucking arrow. Uh, I don't know if you can do uh, additional attack. Uh, fuck, I wish I knew that before yeah, throwing the net. It's okay. Well, for the sake of brevity, I will say yes to be nice, but I will double check on that the next time. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Now I'll just shoot her in the face. Do, 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 do. Uh, are any of these at a disadvantage? Uh, yeah, you're too close to her. You're at a disadvantage for this attack. Unless you want to. She's at a disadvantage because the pipes of haunting. No, they're afraid of me. They're, they're afraid, afraid of panic. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry. Oh, my bad. I remember all the all people's other abilities. Yeah. <laughs> And shoot. Okay, uh, that just hits. Rad. So she Rad. took damage, so she's taking the Colossus. Player yeah, damage, she's taking so 11 the points of damage. You shoot her and the arrow goes right into her ribs. You hear a crack as it, just, you don't know what it hit, but it hit something. Mm. And she kind of like crumples a bit in front of you, Digsby, as she takes a shot to the side. Okay. Uh, ta oh, I almost, 
and was called Taurus Task. Uh, Taurus is going to take the most direct path, and he is going to attack here. Where's your bonuses, buddy? Yeah, he hits. Okay, good. Uh, where is the damage? I always forget how much damage is. Oh. Get her, boy. Come on, buddy. Oh, okay, well, he can roll a one. That's fine. Uh, one plus three. Uh, four points of damage. All right, he grabs onto her ankle and does that thing that a dog does where it just starts shaking it yeah. like violently. <laughs> and she's just like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that ends uh, Tar's turn. Greckles, it is now your turn. All righty. So those who are in the air, I'm eyeballing this gal over here that just got spooked. She's in range. I'm going to give her the old uh, one-two double dart. Hey. Ooh, 26. That hits. Uh, plus sneak. Uh, yes, because she did, she did not see you. Yeehaw, boys. Let's roll that big damage. Ooh, seven. Seven. So that's, uh, 16 points. 16 points of damage for her. That's still significant. Does it, is it, is it, I'm, I'm sorry I keep asking this. Um, is it the bonus action to do the second attack? Uh, for you, yes. Okay. Because you don't have extra attack. Okay, so. in that case, in that case, I'm going to use my bonus action to jump back into stealth. So okay. pop out, shoot, pop back in. That's a 26 for stealth. Yeah, she's, yeah, no, she doesn't see you at all. You you just, you just like poke out, go for, throw it, and you poke back in, she goes, ah, where'd he go? Like, <laughs> not very smart. Um, because she rolled a three. So, um, nice. doesn't even notice you at all. Uh, that ends uh, your turn? Yep. Okay. Uh, the matriarch is going to attempt to flee. She's going to use her full movement to take off into the air and dash. Uh, yeah. That gives Digsby and Taurus a an attack of opportunity as your reaction, if you'd like. Hold on. <laughs> Swung. <laughs> Gong. I know. Where are you going? That hits. Uh, plus three is eleven. 11. She goes to fly, and two things happened because Taurus pulled a natural 20. Um, <laughs> she tries to fly, and Taurus is like holding on to her leg, and she's like flapping her wings violently. Like, Diggs, have you ever been like, have you ever been around a bird, Lanny, where like it flies and hits you in the face with its wing? You're kind of getting hit in the face with these giant wings, and as she's trying to fly stop, away. Stop it. Tarisk is grabbing it, and you just swing, bada, bada, bada. You hit her head, and you literally knock her head. You've knocked it in, you knock it right out. You're and part rude. of the spine flies across with the head as Taurus holds her in place, and you just upswing, and she's locked in place, and the head goes flying across the ground. Oh, the wing stopped. Hey, your head's inside. Oh. <laughs> the other... The other harpies seeing us, they are gonna double dash. This one is just straight up gone. It's it's completely left the building. Um, oh yeah, they're they're straight up leaving. This one here, uh, it's gonna move 80 feet. That one just disappears. Uh, this one can make it to the edge of the map. Bye, ladies. And then this one here is also absolutely like just taking so much. Two darts, especially, got its attention and. They're just going to run as well. It's going to bring them up to there. Okay. Uh, it is now your turn, Borky, if you want to do anything. They appear to be leaving. They appear to be fleeing. Uh, if you guys want to pursue or not, up to you. But you currently have a dead uh... matriarch on the ground. Um, and actually, Greckles, I want you to make a perception check. Heck yeah. Nat 20. Nat 20. As you're like, let's chase them. You stop because you hear a voice behind you coming from the log. Duh. And you hear a tiny little voice go, "Is there someone outside?" Is it is it a male or a female voice? You don't know. Hi, hi. That is uh, for that. Um, uh, so Borky, it's uh, your yes. turn. I could do do anything I want, eh? Uh, if you guys want to continue just... combat, you could just be like, "We don't want to chase them," and then we could just end combat here if you'd like. Uh, I don't want to chase them, really. There's no really need. We just killed their leader, so we should be fine. The only thing I would want is just to ask to scream at them, let this be a message for the rest of your- Uh, Digsby, any commitment to chasing them? No. Panic? Nope. All right, we'll end combat then. As you hear the fluttering of wings, one of the harpies, like, you see them as they're flying, like, <laughs> 
<laughs> crashes into a tree and like steadies itself and flies away <laughs> in a rush. I'm just imagining a harpy trying to get out of a forest, like a fly trying to get out of a house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Smacking up against trees. I apparently, I, back, I, back, I back. apparently cut out and I and people are saying. Oh yeah, you did. Oh a little yeah, bit. you're you're still cutting out. Oh, fuck's sake. It's always Zito. It's weird, I, don't know I don't. It, I have an old microphone and noise game thing on Discord. Mm. Uh, I, I, am I okay now? Yeah. 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 I just wanted to ask the screen. Let this be a message to the rest of your to the rest of your group. They, you assume they hear it. They crash into oh, things and oh, fly yeah, away. Yeah. They are definitely spooked. Uh, the mate shark is currently just bleeding out on the ground. Um, Good. I'm, I'm taking the head. Well, right. we got corpses. Time to dig. Uh, before <laughs> you dig, it's time to carve. All right, I'm, I'm, gonna... I, I'm digging. You can carve while I dig. 24. 24? Uh, you slice off their ears, and you take a couple of their feathers. You get about six feathers that are decent. Uh, and uh, two ears. Uh, Borky goes up to the weapon that the matriarch was using. What it is a like? very crude-looking spear. Mm, Forky holds it aloft. It's light. It's very light, actually. Like you get the, you understand now why the um the matriarch was using this weapon, because you can actually carry it. Forky. Forky starts whistling. Forky really quickly cuts off one of the harpy's heads. Do 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 do. Slams the spear into the ground. Puts the harpy head on there. Damn. Is anybody injured? It'll I be am. a nice grave marker. Exactly, which is what I was thinking, digs me. Uh, I, dig, I, 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 I dig under the javelin. Okay, I will say if you guys do want to harvest the heads, they're going to go bad before you can get back to Alabast. Oh, I don't I don't want to take it yeah. back to Alabast. If they come back, I'm just going to hold them. Okay, yeah. Yeah, This I'm just like, you best stay away because we have this. Um, I will say, uh, if you guys look through the matriarch and the other uh, harpy as well. Which harpy was that? Oh, okay, it was that one. Uh, oh, you need to get this item. Uh, all right, so on the Harpy, the Matriarch, you find a set of very gross uh, studded leather armor. Um, you get the spear as well. The spear is extremely lightweight. Like, it's incredibly lightweight. Um, you also find a glass orb filled with swirling smoke on the uh, Matriarch's, like, person. Uh, and then you also find on the other Harpy, kind of part of their necklace, a old glass chest piece. It's a, it's a, a rook. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. I, I'm I'm way too distracted with voices and logs apparently. So I'm trapped in here. Could you help me? That would be great. Oh, okay. Just just uh, just open it. Or cut it. What? Oh, I can't. Oh, can I do that? That would be great if I could do that. I could really use some help though. I think. And you, as you turn around the end of the log, you see just a pair of little legs kicking out, <laughs> kind of oh. moving. I'll I'll try I'll try to I'll try to yank without causing pain. Okay. Also, uh, panic, also panic. I I said that I was injured. Yeah. So. Oh. Uh. All right. Uh. How deadly? Uh. I I took a good chunk of damage. Okay. You got a boop on all his right. nose. Uh. I pull. She came up and booped. I pull out my I pull out my wand of healing. Hold on. I I I, I walk over. How how many how much like how how damaged are you? Uh. I'm down by like almost 20 HP. Ooh. Oh, oh wait, I apologize. Like Jesus Christ, no, like 15. Yeah, that's a... Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you got you have it back. Oh, sick. I I, right. I just I just boop you on the nose. Boop. boop. Hmm. As 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 Digsby, as you boop task, uh, hand, uh, Armsby boops yourself <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Greckles, you guys currently here see Greckles kind of halfway in this bush, like a farmer, like getting a sheep, you know, who's stuck in like a, a bramble path, currently grabbing something and pulling. All right, quit, someone. quit, quit squirming around. I'm going to get it. <laughs> okay. What uh, the fuck? I want you to roll a uh, strength check for me. Seven. Okay. Uh, you. <laughs> it's a very gentle, it's a very gentle pull. It's not. You rip off their leg. Excuse me? What? I You're... said explicitly I wouldn't pull hard because of that. You do. You you pull off their leg. You hear like a buck sound. And oh, you currently have you in your hand a leg. Ah! Oh, that's okay. 
it's okay. You're doing great. Oh my god, Grackles! That's disgusting. Borky's holding the spear with the head with the head <laughs> of the, of the thing. That's gross, okay, Grackles. Okay, okay, Come hey, on. What if I just cut you? What if I just cut the wood around you? Would, would that work? I I guess. All right, I'm going to very carefully just like etch the wood little by little. <laughs> you start Over to whittle this giant oak log with your little dagger, like it was like it's it's like trying to cut a cutting board. Oh. Did, so the leg just popped off. I didn't. I yeah, didn't... you didn't like rip it off. They're wearing pants, so you like you heard a you heard a pop, and the leg is currently limp now, not moving anymore. There's no blood, um, but they're they're still stuck inside. Uh, guys, can I get a little help <laughs> with this? Oh, for fuck's sake! What what do I need to roll? Strength. 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 Mm. Mm. Greco's is just holding this leg, utterly confused. <laughs> yeah, not not so much better myself either. You walk over uh, and you grab the other leg. Oh, uh, it's a it's a save or a regular? Oh, just a regular strength check. Oh, I, I rolled oh. a I save. Oh, you rolled a save too. Ah, oh. whatever. Oh well. Mm. Okay. <laughs> too late. Too late. Too late. We're committed, committed to, to failure. Um, <laughs> no one got hurt. Well, maybe we'll see. Um, Greckles and Task. Uh, Task, you want to roll a strength check to help him? I I guess sure. No, fuck uh, it. Five. Still okay. Five. You help, you grab the other leg and you pop it out. Um, but between the two of you, you grab the pants and you pull out a small little fellow. Um, I will show them to you. Oh. Show them oh, to wait, us. Oh, wait, I gotta edit it so you guys can see him. Here you go. Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, oh this- uh, Oh, fuck. Now, I hate to be critical about your technique there, but if you could reinsert my legs, that would be great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, a sentence I never thought I'd hear. Greckles will just awkwardly try to, like, pop it back in the socket. <laughs> you do. And it's it's once, pretty simple, actually. Once completed, just the full 90-degree bow, just sweating embarrassment. <laughs> you broke your back. What are you doing? Wait, is that what this thing says? Yeah, you broke your back. What are you doing? Greckles gets right back up. Uh, I'm gonna go check on the other guy. It just okay. awkwardly uh, speed walks away to ta 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 Task is still gonna stand right there next to him, just like, uh, did I, was I given a name when asked for the information no. of the Wandering Construct? No, no information whatsoever. In fact, they follow Greckles, uh, to Borky, where Borky has the head on the pike. This 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 yep. construct just skips over to it and looks up to the head and goes. Anyway, as I was saying before, you got very rude. I would like to preach to you more what? about Oriara. Anyway, they're very uh, important. He pulls out like this book and just begins to like recite. Panic! Greco's, what's happening? I don't know, Borky. I don't know. Digsby looks up from his hole. Oh, hello. My name's Digsby. It's short for Digs, but my mates call me Digs. Oh, you have a name. That's wonderful. I don't have a name. Are you from Alavast in any way? Oh, yes, what, the wait, city. I am from there, yes. Ah. Uh, what, wait, what, hold on. If, so you don't have a name, but you, wait, wait was, was you in that? Borky points at the log. Yes. What, how'd you end up a day? Well, I was preaching these lovely ladies about Oriara, and they got right guffed mm -hmm. about it, and so they began mm -hmm. to attack me. And you know, I like to be a friendly fellow, but they were just being so rude that I just, I just. They got did seem quite yeah. finicky. Right? Uh, I mean, how uh, awful! Borky they was... tried to murder me. Anyway, I got inside the log, and they just kept attacking it. And eventually, I don't know, the world started spitting, and I, I, I don't know what happened after that. You oh, and then I met like a it. nice bird. I met a nice bird. He points to you, Greckles. <laughs> Except he broke my legs, and that one broke my legs too. That's okay. Uh, what? God, guys, come it was on. Was an accident, guys. Borky? Just. Uh, hmm. uh, well, we, well, so you was in the log, and now you're here. And you don't have a name? Well, I am designated as Construct Number Four. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Your name is Log. I like it. I like that too. My <laughs> name is Log. They turn to you, Digsby, and they go, I have a name now too. And there's like little jazz hands. That's great. Uh, My name's Digsby. <laughs> Hello, Digsby. And they just wave at you. Uh, Hello, Log. Task, like, pats Log now on the shoulder, like, 
If you wouldn't mind, uh, there... <laughs> touching me makes me uncomfortable. Don't do that, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Log, what's he say? You out here preaching about Oriara, right? I think he was going to say something to me. Oh, I see. I completely missed yeah. that. Sorry, Zeno. Uh, Log, I, I guess that's what we're calling you now, but are you okay with me also calling you Construct 4? Because it actually has something to do with back at Alavast. Hmm. They're like, they kind of like tilt their head side to side. Well, you know, that was my name back in the city that Artemis gave me. And that guy was just, he was just... He was such, you know what? I can't believe I'm going to say it, and I, you got to forgive me now, but he was not nice. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey, if, no. It's not, it's what, not. what made you decide to leave the city? Was leave him behind? Oh, no. He threw me out. Threw you out? Why did he throw you out? Because he said I was getting too smart for my own good. Isn't that horrible? <laughs> oh, that is horrible. Thinks of Steve. Uh, thinks of Steve. Thinks of Steve. <laughs> So what? So you want to spread the word of this god? Is that only your intention, or is there anything more you'd like to do? Hmm. No, I just want people like Oriara, like I like Oriara, and like Artemis didn't like Oriara, which is why he wasn't very nice. Uh, Borky whispers to Panic real fast. Panic was Artemis that one guy who died. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Forky just nods. Which one? Uh, Old guy. The, does Oriara ever say anything to you in your mind? Well, well, um, gosh, he just sits down like he like goes like full on like L shape, like sits down on the grass with his legs out. Well, that's a big question there, sir. Um, well, more or less is that I was a messenger for Artemis, the guy who's mean. And one day I'm sending messages and I get one from someone I don't know. And it's like, what is this? And they said their name was Oriara and they asked, they asked me what I wanted to do. And I didn't have an answer. So they told me to maybe talk about them a bit to help them out. So I did that. But Artemis, he was so busy with Mike Crank. Artemis was just like, what are you talking about? You're just a messenger. You're not supposed to do that. What are you talking about? And then I asked him about the book that he had and like where we actually came from. And he got really, really, really mad. He said something about me becoming sentence or something. And then he threw me out through the sewers. And I've been wandering ever since. Greckles, mm. Greckles well, taps a uh, task on the shoulder. What were what were you what were we supposed to do with him again? Uh, only just to uh, document his uh, his intentions. Right. Well, As you guys are talking, a butterfly that was pestering panic lands on his face. He goes, "Hi there. Would you like to hear about Oriara?" Uh, log. Yes. You might be able to go back into the city. Um, Artemis isn't really there anymore. Oh no, is he looking for me? He's dead. No, he's dead. Uh, Hooray! No, he lifts Hooray. up his arms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, that uh, was do, easy. Do, 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 you know, do you know the definition of irony? Oh, I, I know that iron is a metal that may have been used in my mm. construction. Also, uh, Mike Crank uh, killed him because Mike Crank was actually a gnome soul. It, it was a whole hell of a thing. Anyways, he was he was paced by the time we got <gasps> did there. Did Mike Crank get sentient after I did? No, no, he was possessed by like a gnome. Did oh. Oriara like... ever say to you that you would have brothers or sisters or others like you to gain sentience? They mentioned something about lots and lots of friends. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I task like looks over to Greco's one last time. Should we at least let him know about the others? Yeah, that might be a good idea. It's Very probably, well. It's probably not the best thing in the world to have him just running around by himself. If you return back to Alavast Log, you might find that a lot of other constructs yourself are actually walking around with sentience as well. Are they? I thought one, I was the only one. No, one of them actually lives across from where we live. He's a uh, horseshoer? Metalsmith? Yeah, yeah. No. 
No, he's secretly my best friend. He just doesn't know. Oh, me. horses are those giant dogs with long faces. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and long legs. Borky just contemplates. Shit. They're just oh, so man. long. That's just horrifying, but that's hey, okay. The well, natural world why, is mysterious. Hey, hey, why would um, I group huddle? Yes. Group huddle. Is this, okay, is, group huddle. Group huddle. Is, is, wait, hold on, hold on. Is Dinks be invited to the huddle? Yes. Sure. Yeah. Thanks, me. You're invited Thanks to the hole. You're, you're cutting down the hole. And your oh beautiful boy. hole. I, is, <laughs> how awkward is the shuffle in? I the meander group? over. Mm. I imagine like waddle side to side. And then my, and then my neck stretches as I get closer. Hello. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! How horrifying. <laughs> so it's. Is it really a good idea to send Log back to Alavest? I mean, like, there's been a whole lot of weird stuff going on with the constructs and stuff, you know, with them, with them not rebuilding the, not rebuilding the, uh, the, uh, my drink statue in the town hall. It yeah. is missing. I don't know. It, it feels like something weird is going on. He seems like a nice really? child. I know, but. Thank you so much. He's part of the huddle. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm sorry, I saw you talking, and I got real curious. A uh, uh, quick question there, Log. Mm -hmm. uh, if if you was us, what would you do now that we've met you? There's like a moment where you see the one here in his head trying to process, like Siri, who's just listened to someone with a thick accent, figuring out what they said. I'm just, I'm just ask Siri to divide by zero, Taka. <laughs> <laughs> well, gosh, I'm not made of flesh, so that makes it a little tricky. Um, gosh, if I were you, I was giant green and had really big teeth and smelled really I good. Do. I do. That, I take bubble bars. Hmm. And I like met that. me. What would I do? I would. Hmm. Probably tell them about Oriara. Yeah! <laughs> and he sits down. Oh, guys, let me tell you about Oriara real let fast here, guys. Let me it's such a good story. He, like, lays out his book on the ground. <gasps> well, while he's doing that, I'm going to go over to that Digsby, orb Digsby, Digsby, sits, piece. Digsby okay. sits cross-legged. He's interested. Hmm. Okay. I'll give you the short version because you appear to be in a hurry, and I can appreciate that. So a long time ago, the dwarven god of the forge, Gromoth, and the goddess of beauty, Livrasia, were having a big old fight. And he like lifts up his book like story time and shows like an illustration of like a crude cartoon version of a dwarf and like a crude version of a beautiful woman. Did he like, draw throwing... this? It, you don't know. You can ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Did you draw this? Um. Yes. <laughs> Insight check, please. Sure, go ahead. Eight? <laughs> yeah, I guess he draw it. He drew it, I guess. That's fantastic. You're very, You're very Thank good. Thank you. A very expressive line. Oh, Liver C would be proud of me. Speaking of which, they fought a whole lot because there was this newfangled thing called craft. And the humans were getting really, really good at it. And same with the elves and the dwarves. And Livrasia was like, jewelry should be in my domain because I cover beauty. And and Gromoth was like, no, jewelry you have to make in the forge, so it should be my domain. And so they fought and they fought and they fought. And he just keeps flipping through pages of like cartoon, like like almost like Captain Underpants style fighting battles. <laughs> Two gods fighting. <laughs> Until one day, they decided to make a new god. And he flips the page and you see this, this really like idolized drawing of this clockwork woman with this giant elaborate headpiece and these different segments. She doesn't have legs. She's got kind of like, um, sort of like gyroid points at the bottom. Um, and like segments aren't even like fully attached to each other. They're just kind of hovering in place in some ways. And so they made Oriara, and she was kind of just a small god for a little bit. She dealt with jewelry and clocks and all kinds of stuff like that. But then one day another god died, and she absorbed part of them. And now she masters time. Oh. Hmm. Does that make sense, or was that too fast? What does she do with the time? She makes it well work. Oh. What time is it? Oh, right now it's about uh, ten sixteen. Damn, that's good time. Uh, 
if you don't mind my asking, where have have like have you seen any other people besides from the harpies you've encountered? Like, are there other people around here? Uh, no. Hmm. Uh, oh, when... I met I met two people in their house, but they locked the door, which most people do. But that's okay. How? When, when was the last time you actually interacted with someone, another humanoid, apart from us? Oh, well, there were these groups of people, and they were taking giant trebuchets going down south, and I said hello to them. There was this bird man who had a nice helmet. His name oh, was right. Remy, and then there was an orc kind of guy, and he was nice, and I don't know. They didn't really want to listen to me. They seemed really busy. Bor Bor Borky, like, pop punches Greckles on the shoulders lightly. Hey! It's your boy. Oh, it's my boy. It's, it's your boy. boy. I don't understand. Task no, I don't you don't need to. <laughs> okay. Task will show uh, Log the map and point out to him which direction he needs to go if he ever wants to go back to Alavast. You've actually been walking around Alavast this whole time. This is the way to get back. He like, you hear a like, click, almost like a camera click. You assume he's blinking maybe. Okay, I'll remember that. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, where will you be patrolling now? Like, where where do you think you'll go from here? Oh, gosh, I don't know. He kind of, like, kicks a little rock on the ground and it, like, bounces. Um, oh. maybe that way. Well, maybe not that way. That's where the scary birds went. Maybe that way. Maybe back home. I mean, I haven't been back home. And after Artemis threw me out, you know, I don't really have feelings. But if I had feelings, I think he hurt them pretty badly. Well, well how about this? Why don't you come with us for a little while? Ooh. Uh, a group huddle. <laughs> <laughs> you can have your own huddle. I'm all on board for this one. Borky wanders over to the huddle. Hey, uh, Log, can you wait right here? We have we have to have a huddle. It's it's team only. Oh, okay. Well, sorry for interrupting yes. the last one. I thought yeah, that no, was no, like no, a fun no. thing. Oh, it's okay. I get confused too. Okay, I'll sit on the log, the and he like walks over and just like jumps up and sits on the log. Heads together again. <laughs> All right. So, like, do we want to take him with no, us? I, I yeah, dig I'm, it. I'm with I'm with Task. This may not be a good idea. Okay. Actually, all in favor of bringing him with us, raise your hand. Forky raises his Panic hand. Panic raises his hand. Digsby raises his. Panic grabs D D Armsby and raises him as well. <laughs> Armsby, well like, gets a, Armsby gets offended and like pulls his hand from you, Panic. Like, hey! <laughs> well, 4 to 2. <sighs> Looks like we're going with it. Mm. All right, well, thank you all for destroying any kind of subterfuge we would have had walking into unknown... Yeah, I'm with Task on that one. This... The... I like this kid, trust me, I like him, but, uh, quiet, he's a, though? Mm. He's a civ. Why are we bringing a civ along on an adventure? This is a dumb idea. Oh, well, Bork, Borky leans back. Log, what can you do? I can heal, but honestly, as much as I appreciate you wanting me to come along, I kind of just want to wander. I could wander around where you're going, and maybe we'll run into each other in your adventures, but... All right, that's okay, yeah. Is that fine for you guys? Fair enough. I know I'm pretty brown. loud and I get a little antsy and you guys have to do this thing called slep and it seems like such a bore. So, you know. <laughs> slep. I like slep too, don't worry. I kind of haven't had it in the past. <laughs> Gotta get 10 hours of slep every night. 10, Jesus, I only get like four to six. Okay, log, well, he log, hops off the long. Oh, yeah. Log, will you be, will you be able to at least protect yourself? Oh gosh, I'm fine. If he's been wandering around this long, then I'm sure he has some kind of defense capabilities. I've <laughs> killed things that should have died, so it's okay. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Whoa, oh, what, what? what? I killed oh, this uh, thing so... that was like a lion, but it wasn't a lion. It had like a human's face. It was very awkward. I'm I gonna tried... roll an insight on that. Yeah. What, do I roll? what do I roll for that? Uh, I'm gonna... Roll two rolls. Roll an insight and roll a knowledge arcana. What? I'm gonna do that as Was well. Was it a slap? Oh, damn it. Oh, okay, 22. so I rolled that 20 on our bad on insight. All right, let me roll insight. That's a 15 on insight. 11 on insight. insight. 16 on knowledge arcana. Okay. Oh, Bigsby, okay. 19 and arcana, you said? Yeah, <sighs> 12, okay. Um, the <laughs> moment you hear the descriptor, uh, Greckles, that's a fucking manticore. 
Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ! And oh. as you hear this, uh, panic, you specifically, you know it's a manticore, and you know he's not lying. Uh, are you sure you don't want to keep him around? It was really awkward because I'm like, hey, do you want to hear about Oriar? And he was like, I'm going to eat you. And I'm like, I would appreciate it if you don't do that, sir. But he was very persistent. Task, task huddle. Uh, task, hold on. Before we do, uh, Log, can you do me one quick favor? I'd like to be interested in seeing something. Okay. Uh, do you see that log over there that you were rolling in? Mm -hmm. can, can you show us how you killed the manticore on that log? The thing with the, the lion and, and the head? Greckles is a little panicked. With the eyes of flame and the teeth of steel on human flesh at feasts. <laughs> oh my god. Borky just sits down in the log and puts his feet oh up. Oh my god! Oh, no, do not <laughs> get away from that! What? No, Borky's on a different. Okay. Okay. One. Wait. Oh my god! Wait. Wait. Bonnie, I swear <laughs> to God, to me. if you no, if you made an abyss us right now, I will scream. Wait, what? Never mind. I said nothing. Okay. Oh, uh, god. what can he do? Uh, hopefully a lot. He killed a fucking manticore. Uh, what can he do? <laughs> Level 18 cleric. Uh, um, can't do holes. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, how long does this take? Okay, he will do- Oh no, it takes a minute. Shit, okay. Wait. Uh, can you dismiss it though? That's the question. Oh no, it stays. <laughs> okay. Um, you watch as this little tiny robot construct, uh, stands and he like shoes you guys away. He goes, okay, move out of the way. Get out of the way. Um, and he fucking summons a celestial. <gasps> oh, what? Oh. What? A giant gyroid celestial with, with arcane metal wings just appears out of sheer light from the sky and lands on the ground and kneels before Log. Was I right again? Is he a level 18 cleric? It's high level. Oh. Hello, my name's Digsby. It's short for Digsburton. You hear like a mechanical grinding, yet somehow pleasant sounding, <laughs> as the gears all shift and turn in perfect gyroid balance. It's almost like a top sort of spinning in place, kind of a, a strange, almost abstract body. It looks like an abstract art piece, like an abstract kinetic sculpture. This motherfucker just summoned Alexander. Uh, Task. Yeah. Whis we're gonna we're gonna have a little whisper, a little whisper. Yeah, we're gonna have a whisper. So I'm whisper. having a good time, and the blog just starts talking to it. Yeah. I, I found more followers of the faith, and the gyro just turns and shifts and looks and looks back to log, and they're just they really like the story. How's Ariara doing? And you just hear more mechanical grinding. Well, that's good. Task that that truly might be a good idea. This ain't no sieve. No, it's not. We need... It sucks that we have to... It's... I, I would like to keep him along, but at the same time, like, look, he looks back at him. He kind of dawdles around too much that it might be a burden, but he is a high t priority target we should bring back. I will yeah. say what he was indicating is that he could just wander around while you guys are traveling and you might run into him as you guys are traveling. So he would okay, be kind of okay. so he'd be kind of like traveling separately and you might run into him in certain moments essentially. Kind of like what? But like, but <laughs> What if, no, Task, what if we convinced him that we could take him along with us and he could preach to people? Wink. I suppose so long but we have to at least get him to promise he can at least come back to Alavas with us. That's fair. All right. Log? Yes. We've come to this sort of agreement, and we would actually wouldn't mind if you wanted to tag along. I know that you feel that, like, our ability to needing sleep is a little bit of an inconvenience. However, we it, would it not be more interesting for you to come along with us, and if we find other people, you can also enlighten them about Oriara? Roll a persuasion check. Christ, here I go. 14. Okay. Hmm, it's tempting, I'm not gonna lie, but I just saw like five butterflies over here and that's got my name on it. So you Where? know what? You head on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? That sounds good. Actually, if you, and if you see us again, could you not document the map so you could be able to find your way back to Alabama? Oh, I, I, I have that in my, my this, and he points to his head. What you showed me, I put it in here. 
fantastic. Okay, bye! He just starts to walk away. This giant gyroiding celestial follows behind him, <laughs> making this unearthly, ungodly noise. Bye-bye, small child. Bye! Yeah. I'm older than you! Well, no, I'm not. I'm only... I'm two, but that's okay. Bye! Go bye! Goodbye! He just, he just, like, walks into a bush and gets stuck, and then, like, the giant celestial picks him up and, like, throws him over the bush. And he turns around and goes, thank you, and just keeps walking. And disappears what an out interesting of sight. child. Well, we just earned a good source of money, and if we bring him back to Alavar, I think we're going to make total bank. What's that? Um, Panic was right? Taz kicks him in the shin. Ow, my shin! <laughs> oh my god, why would you do that to his shin, you boss? We oh, have Panic. a mission to continue on. I'd rather <laughs> let's go instead of getting caught by harpies again. Okay, that's fair. Forky shoves the spear in with the with the harpy head down by the hole. All right, let's get moving. Right. But first, before we get moving, I am going to ritual cast, or while I'm moving, I guess, I'm going to ritual cast identify on both that globe and that chest piece. Oh god, I forgot completely about those after the the globe after the Jesus boy. <laughs> um, you check them, no magic. They appear to be kind of just trinkets that the harpies probably found in their in their ventures. Stuff we could probably sell. Yeah, it could be worth AC if it's got historical value to it. So uh, put them in the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, oh, wait, how much? How much? How much room is left in the bag? Small stuff. I'll be more lenient, but big, big, giant things. It's gonna be kind of tricky. Right. No more gongs. So, like, yeah. No more <laughs> giant we got, gongs. We, Honestly, I think we. I think we maxed out with two kitty whipping corpses. Yeah. We don't have anything that huge as of yet. Yet. Yeah. Uh, so you guys press on forward. Yes. Mm -hmm. Follow the compass. All right, so you follow the compass. Uh, eventually, this doesn't require anything. You guys actually make your pathway probably where the harpies used to hang out. Um, now completely vacant. Um, you guys, if you want to, you can do an investigation check if you'd like. Sure. Uh, there, should, we like... should we update the map? I did update the map. I, I've been updating it as we find landmark. Oh, wow. Nine. Another nine. <laughs> That's my third That's nine of the night. <laughs> Time Fuck! To, time to wow. time to invest them God again. Nat, <laughs> Nat twenty. Oh, it's Borky. time to invest them again. Sherlock Bork. Sherlock Bork. Borky gets down to all fours and starts sniffing. Uh, you do sniff and you find a lump of something. Oh. Taka. I found a lump of something. Taka, I'd like to point out real quick. Between two sessions, you've rolled two natural twenties on a stat you have a negative in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. You find yes. a it's like a black, hard, almost kind of waxy, rubbery ball of something. It's like a big lump of something. Borky just holds it up with one hand like, from like a hill. All right, panic. What is this? Cast your magic on it, please. Ugh. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll ritual cast it and FI on it again. And it takes ten minutes. Okay, you guys sit there for about ten minutes. Uh, have a bit of a snack break, drink some water from your guys' uh, water skins, yep. uh, and you have no idea. It's something natural, but you have no idea what it is. Is it organic? It appears to be orga organic of some kind. Survey says, I don't know. <laughs> could any could any Water. intelligence check possibly? Mm, nah, it's, Actu it's, it's actually, a, it's a lump. Uh, I could do something, but is it really worth it? Yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll get more magic back tomorrow. Uh, what, what exactly is this thing again? Like, it's like a lump. It's like a like a shoe-sized lump of something. A shoe-sized lump of something. Yeah. Hey, what color is it's it? Like, it's kind of like a kind of like a dead leaf brown, like kind of black into brown. Does it have a smell? A little bit. It stinks a little bit. Mm. But not like really badly. It's not like a cow patty or anything like that. So identify didn't give me any indication. Magic. No, no magic. Mm. Is this poop? It would probably smell worse if it was. Probably. Unless it's old. Borky gestures at, at Tig's me. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't know what to do. You all right, know, it's all right, right, it's all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me do this. <laughs> just, to, just to sate your intellectual appetite yeah. or whatever. 
Uh, uh, Panic kneels down onto the ground. He puts his hand on the grass, and some glowing green energy emits from his palm. And I cast Speak with Plants. Okay. Uh, there is a tree. Um, uh, <laughs> to make a tree voice now. Tree voice. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hello. My name's Digsby. It's short for Digs, but they may call me Digs. Sadly, only Panic can hear it. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Uh, so, uh, but the I, tree I, knows now. So I, I grab the lump. Do you know what this is? Hell if I know. Thanks. What's dude, it, what's dude, it saying, Panic? Dude, dude, I'm a tree. I don't move. I don't have eyes. <laughs> I don't even see what you're showing me, man. Like, I mean, I get it. You know, trees are all wise and shit, but I don't know. I can't see it. What a sassy ass tree. <laughs> Hmm. Are you... What's it saying, Patty? Uh, it's saying it doesn't know. So congratulations, you have a lump. Ah, uh, well, and the bag it goes. I'll just put lump. Yeah, in go the ahead. Bag. Lump. Well, how do you end up with lump. the weirdest things in our adventures? I, I tell, I tell you right now, I tell you right now, Greco's. I don't know, but it will kill me one day. Uh, <laughs> Greco, Greco solemnly nods slowly. I am going to I'm going to question the plants around us uh, if there have has been any activity aside from a small construct boy. Uh okay. Uh what what there's some flowers. Um Yeah, it says it says I can I can ask them questions and they can give me answers about the events of the past day or so, getting information about Creatures that have passed through weather and other unusual circumstances. Okay. Uh, you find, like, a daisy on the ground. Hey, what's up? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just some salty plants. <laughs> uh, how's it going? It's going all right. Uh, anything unusual happening besides us and maybe, like, a little robot boy? Uh, well, you know, I got my seeds planted before winter. It's on its way. I feel it in the petals. Uh... <laughs> Mm, mm, I feel that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's rough. It's gonna be a rough one. Um, beyond that, I mean, the birds that took over, uh, took over the tree over there. Uh, they've been, you know, squawking, doing the regular things. Uh, beyond that, windy occasionally sucks. That's okay. Carries the pollen. You know what I'm saying? Areas around. Raise me petals. So areas around here that is uh, pretty safe for the most part, then. Yeah, though I, you know, sometimes I can feel the vibrations of the updraft uh, valley a little bit. If you don't know what that is, mm. no, I don't. What, what's that? Okay, listen to me, bud. Uh, if you go in, I don't, I don't have eyes. I, don't, I can't see. Look, if you go in a certain direction, if you hear the sound of Russian wind, okay, sometimes you can feel it just on the ground. Mm. And there's this place called the updraft valley. Uh, mm. Assumedly, there's an updraft. There's also a valley. That might be crazy. Damn. That's some crazy wow. shit, man. Damn. Well, that's all I got for right now. Uh, keep it up, buddy. Me, you didn't give me anything. I gave you all the information. I I, tr I trickle a little water on top of him. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> keep, it up. <laughs> keep it up, buddy. I believe in you. Okay. That ends up, that's a, that, that sequence of events. We're, all watching, we're all watching this as he's talking to himself to a fucking flower. <laughs> The panic looks up from the dandelion is just like, apparently there's a place called the Windswept Valley. Some weird stuff might be going on there. That's cool. Weird. The updraft. He, updraft he said valley. Up, updraft. Updraft no, valley. Yeah, I, I caught it right as I said it. <laughs> the updraft Valley. So what, are you a druid now? No. <laughs> Task hands, hands panic the map. Right. Uh, okay. Um... Where exactly did he say? Uh, uh, it sounds like it's, it's it's as you actually as you kind of uh, hear. It sounds like it'd be somewhere over here. All right, hang on. Let me, minimi let me minimize this. And how do you erase with this thing again? You have to go to your your pointer, your select and move, and you have to like click and drag a box over, and then you can press delete to delete what you. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, yeah, because that was that was just a mistake. Mm -hmm. All right, so further to the west. Yeah, looks like it's straight west. 
further to the west, so somewhere. So where should we go, guys? I'll ask, what's the, uh, what's the compass say? Yeah, what's, what does it say? Uh, it's still saying northwest. Oh, that's gray. Hang on. Uh, uh, it is pointing northwest. We've been heading north. We've been heading west the, most of this time. It's time to start moving uh, north. I guess off we go then. I will. We do. I that. will. I will draw on the map where exactly I'd like us to turn. Oh, it's right there. I guess we're going that way to Updraft Valley. Okay. Hooray! I think. <laughs> Digsby, we're done with digging holes. Okay. I'm sorry, there'll be more. Di- there'll, there'll be more. And by the way, can I... What, what, we're walking there real fast? Because uh, Borky would like to talk to Digsby real fast. It's very, very important for okay. talking to Digsby. Mm. <laughs> so, like, they're kind of hovering back a little bit. Oh, Digsby, uh, so long, how long have you been a turtle? Oh, my whole life, basically. Mm, felt like that for me too. See, I was turned into a turtle recently, and um. Oh, it looks like you got I, better. I, I mean, you're still green. I... <laughs> yes, <Yeah, it's> true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Dingsby. But I gotta say, do you always have this insatiable love for lettuce? Does it ever go away, or is it forever? I do like plants. Plants is nice. I also like cheese. I love bread. Oh my god, I like I like cheese too. I like bread. Did you know it makes you fat? I wouldn't really know. Never been. Holy shit. But anyways, it's just uh, okay. That explains it. I must get a cure for my turtleism. Borky rubs his chin. <laughs> walks his As you. <laughs> As you guys walk over a hill, you now see in front of you like a sheer rock face, almost like the earth was cracked and pushed up. Um, And you hear screeching and howling of wind. And you guys approach? Carefully. Carefully, yeah. You guys carefully approach, and as the sound gets louder and louder and louder, you now see this massive, almost 60 foot wide, like giant, crevice in the earth and it's currently gushing out air which is coming up in droves you see bits of of log and plant being tossed into the air almost like a geyser of wind it's a heck of a hole wonder who dug it god not sure if it was dug if not exploded outward uh is that wind, oh. so that winds that winds coming from the ground but when he's in the sky, this doesn't make a lick of sense. Mm. Uh, let's see. Roll. I guess roll investigation. Uh, yeah. This would be knowledge nature, actually. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's give it a whirl. Mm. Nope. Eight. Jack yep. shit. Not no. my forte. No, here we go. Uh, eight. Uh, this is eight. Oh, 18. Okay. Your whole knowledge will prove useful. 13. Oh. Um, Digsby, as you kind of walk up and down, sort of, not too close to get blasted away by the air, but you kind of walk up and down, um, you scientifically manage to figure out that there's probably some sort of wind tunnel down there, and this is currently an exit point for a wind tunnel, um, and that's why the air is so forceful here. It could be that there was an earthquake that shifted and caused this to happen. Um, it's a lot of things. Uh, taking kind of a whiff of the air, it doesn't appear to be poisonous, it's not like a gas of any type. It appears to be fresh air. Um, and it's currently, as you look up, you see a lot of birds, like small birds, not harpies or anything, like just mm. kind of coasting on the updraft comfortably. Um, and you do notice that the compass at the moment is pointing in that direction. It's basically what you said. Something shifted here, and there's some wind going through a tunnel down there, and it what blows up this hole. And now the wind's carving out all the dirt. Like a giant shovel that's invisible. Oh. Does the compass say, Mm. does the compass glow any differently? uh, Like, kind of pointing it towards the tunnel? No, it's just pointing forward. Well, it's not on our road map, but Mm. we are here in uncharted territory. Then we want to dig up or just look around for, for, I don't know, scavenging sake. Now Um, would be a good place to look. 
I'm gonna do something while you guys are doing the investigation thing. I'm going to ritual cast detect magic. Okay. Uh, you detect magic. Don't detect any magic. Mm. Just a natural how, occurrence. How how far? How long is this chasm? Uh, it stretches just from like as far as you can see. It goes around this giant rock face. So wherever the rock face is jutting out from the earth, you have this big gap, and then the air is just rushing out. It's a really wretched sound, to be honest, but it's kind of a cool sort of phenomenon in a way. And, and how far across is it? Uh, it's about 60 feet across from where you guys are standing to the sheer rock cliff on the other side. I'm Greco's just going to pick up a rock okay. and throw it across the chasm and watch what the wind does with it. You grab the rock and you throw it into the wind and it doesn't fall. It actually f gets shot up and goes right up into the air, and it actually falls towards your guys' side, and is clink, 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 lands near a tree. Ooh, that's strong. Damn. Task, which way is it telling us to go, up or down? It's telling us to keep going forward. If we're doing this, if we're gonna stick around here, this is just on our own time. How? You could go around. There might be an option to go around. Too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's not it's not how endless, down, but how, how far down does the face? You look go? down, you don't see a bottom. Oh wow. So both sides, left and right, you just don't see an end to it? Uh like the actual like the depth of it, you don't see a bottom. Um the length of it, you don't see currently, but there's a few corners you might be able to go around and just see. If only we had a kite. I'd look at your inventory. You might actually have something there that might help you. That's my feet. that's my navy. <laughs> this advice thing. Hey, listen. Maybe we should use the lump. <laughs> <laughs> yes, use the lump. Sixty feet across. Quick lump. Do something. Borky holds it aloft. <laughs> all right. Well, okay, Taka, you're gonna have to help us out because you're carrying all the shit. So. That's true. All right. Why don't you, why, we why do have that charges? tent. You think we could makeshift some kind of kite or glider? Flotation device of some sort. I don't know. I'm not the science guy. Bye, Out of character real fast. Okay, what should we do, guys? I'm, I'm thinking, because here's the thing. If there's some way we could get one person across, we could get a rope across. Um, and... I don't know. We could possibly cross over it, but God, the winds are so strong. Mm. Like, how high up is this cliff face? Uh, the cliff this? face is about maybe about 40, 50 feet. So it's just a, okay, 40, 50 feet. Uh, I'd say more around 40 feet. Mm. It's kind of jagged, so I'm trying, to, trying to see if there's anything in my uh, kit. No. And we got the giant sandals, the giant gong. Greckles pulls out his his very beautiful fan that once belonged to Yukiko and just slowly starts to ponder what if hmm boys I'm going to try something have at it I'm going to whip I'm the I'm going to whip out the Tengu fan of wind okay and just send a gale right across let me the... click on that uh, yeah. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, how do you roll a save for a force of nature? I don't think it's <laughs> gonna be. That's not gonna beat it. It's just too big. It's just a. It's a massive wall of wind, and you shoot the wind, and you do notice a bit of kind of a disturbance, but it goes right back to gushing out. It doesn't really do anything. Oof. Um, and as you kind of get closer to check, your hat gets blown off the back of your head and kind of lands on the ground. Ah. If this has the, back on. if this has the capacity to just like make us fly across, you have that grappling hook. Well, yeah, there's there's no telling what direction it's gonna send us. That's mm. or how high. That's the f um. That's the fun of it, right, Digsby? Uh, Armsby. I have him kind of crawl off. I mean, if you want to toss that grappling hook rope to the end of him, we could try and send him across. 
That's does, like a, yeah. does like a peace sign. Like, thumbs up. Um, yeah. Well, it's it's a little unorthodox, but I don't know what else to try. Uh, Grickles will start to pull out the uh, rope and grappling hook. Okay. All right, now you be safe over there as, as like they start tying the rope to the end of him. And, and, and make sure that you come back safe, okay? They do another thumbs up. If nothing else takes me, we can pull him back in. It's true. All right, so, Borky, we need you as the anchor. Got it. Got it. Digsby, you behind him. Okie dokie. Hold on to me very tightly. I'll... Actually, is it possible, and I know this is going to sound super stupid, can I fire Dig... Can I fire Armsby? Mm, he's probably too dense. Well, he's the si- he is the size of my arm, but... Yeah, I'd say... Actually, he's pretty big. I, could... he's I, very I, tall. I, I, I wanted to go with the Looney a... Tunes. Sorry, I just no, that's, great. That, that's that's what actually was about to, to to say is have Borky just chuck it and then we set our anchor. Do we strap him to a spear? One of my spears, not lightning spear, but like the non the non. You could probably just hawk him and it'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. like oh, the wind. The, we're we're right. counting on the wind to carry. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go from from biggest to smallest with biggest in the back as an anchor. And I guess we'll just chuck poor old arms to be across and see what happens. Okay. I, I will say this, to give you guys a sense, I'm going to draw on your map, I'm so sorry. To give you guys a sense, this is the cliff on the other side. You guys are here, and this is the giant chasm of wind, which is currently gushing out. I'm not seeing any okay. pins or anything. Okay. I'm currently drawing it on the map. All right, so I guess we'll just toss Diggs B and see where he goes from here. Uh, arms me. Arms me. <laughs> Let's not throw the whole time. Don't, don't, don't get me. Don't get me wrong. I could probably gamma up in my shell and be okay. But... <laughs> I mean, that'd be, yeah. that'd be awesome. But yeah, sorry about that. Arms me. If you don't gamma into a fight, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So you attach rope to Armsby. Do you attach the grappling hook end to to Diggs? Yeah, I, 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 I imagine he's holding on to the grappling hook side so that he can hook it on something when he gets yeah. up there. All right. He's holding on to it then. All right. All right, right, Borky, show us what you can do. I need a one, I need a two, and an arms beat, go for it. Roll a 20. Yeah! How many was that tonight? How long long is your rope? How long is the rope on the grappling hook? Do you know? Oh, Lordy, I don't know off the top of my head. Because it Um, it has, it's, I don't think it comes with rope. I think it's the rope that you already have. And it was in a pack, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Usually 40 feet of rope. Let me check here. I wasn't sure if it was 40 or 60. Uh, let's see. If it's 40, then you guys are good to go. If it's a little bit less, you might have to do a little bit of rock climbing. That's okay. Where is items? I'm going to find out. I believe it's 50 feet. 50 feet, yeah. You guys are good to go. Borky, you Olympic man style throw arms be, and he does like a full point. Like he's like a, like a spear of hands. And a single tear falls down your cheek, Digsby, as you watch your arm oh. fly, soaring majestically, and then begin to spin in the wind, doing oh. flips and, and starts to kind of barrel roll out of control. But then you hear a cook as it lands on the other side. And you hear, you watch, you can kind of feel it on your end through your soul as Digsby begins, or Armsby, sorry, I'm going to get confused every time. Oh, Armsby yeah. has now uh, made you guys a rope. Oh. It's size. So- as you guys all hold the rope, it does get engulfed with the wind and it's kind of blown up like a clothesline. Um, so it's not completely taut, but it's 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 attached. Okay, so I'm gonna stay behind right now. You'll pull me up at the well, end. Well, actually, um, but... I'm, I'm down in arm. You're probably gonna have to pull me up. Oh, shoot, that's true. All right. Okay, that's true. All right, Task, you go first. Hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had to go at some point, Ty. What am I wrong? Come on. This will, this, will be a, want... <laughs> this will be an athletics check. Oh, good. My worst stat. Oh, boy. Here I go athleticsing again. A 20. 20. Not bad. Not bad. You, um... <laughs> you climb... You get about halfway and you look down and you see just the bottomless pit of death as wind is just gushing around. Your ears are flipped completely up. 
um, your your quiver, like some of your arrows start to blow out, but you manage to grab them and shove them back into your quiver. Um, you are actually like straight up just being pushed up, holding on the opposite way on this rope. Instead of being like hanging on like from the bottom, you're actually being blown from the top. So you're actually kind of like climbing on it oh. um, on top. That's how intense this wind is. And you are just shakily climbing up and eventually you reach where Armsby is. And you manage to kind of just shakily climb up. The wind itself just chills you right to the bone. What, we're going to have to do this again for Tarisk. You guys know that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Borky, I was actually, Borky's gonna, Borky's pretty much gonna carry Taurus with one arm and do this one arm. Well, you've got the strength for uh, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh! All right, well, I'll, yeah. I'll aid Armsby in the, the... Just keeping it stable? Yeah, yeah, keeping it stable. All right, you grab onto the other side of the rope and Armsby's, like, kind of holding it up as well, so there's two of you on the other side. It's, it's in the ground, though. Like, the grappling hook is, like, attached to a rock. But if something goes wrong, it's better to have someone with an able pick. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. All right, who's next? Uh, all right, Mr. Birdman, it's your yeah, turn. I figured it would be. Um, why doesn't you just spread your wings like them's up there? Gre Greco slouches his arms down, gives the the, the flat eye glare, and just just points to his back. You got a shell too. <laughs> he just <laughs> blinks. He just, 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 bl just blinks vacantly. <laughs> Okay. Borky, lean, Borky, Borky leans in. It's more of an emotional one. Oh. Reckles just puts his talons in his hands. It can't be any worse than this. All right. So what I'd like to do as I cross over, as Greckles crosses over, um, if you could wrap um, any slack of rope around the wrist part of his talon as a possible catching mechanism while he, while he goes across. Oh, like attaching it to the, the rope that's currently there? Well, like to... to to basically like sling his, to take basically take a loop like twist twist his yeah like a, lo a loop like kind of yeah. like a mountain climber's loop yeah. on a yeah. on a climbing rope. Uh, let me make a dexterity check, I guess, to make that real quick. Just a flat dex check. Just a flat dex check. Yeah. Twenty four. Okay. Yeah, you make make a loop and you kind of like attach it to your wrist. Sweet. All right, athletics. Yep. Oh boy, no bonuses. Yep. That's a nat one. That's a nat I knew that was gonna. Roll. I knew that was going to happen. Oh boy! I knew that was gonna happen. You I felt begin. It my bird bones. You begin to climb across. <gasps> you're like, I'm safe. I got my. I got my wrist thing. And then suddenly, there's just an extra gust of wind. And uh, I want uh, on both sides everybody to make strength checks real quick for me. Oh, good. <laughs> this bird's gonna fly. <laughs> with with advantage because you guys were ready for it. 14. 14 natural 20. Not 20. And that's a 21. All right, you guys, you guys are surprised, but you managed to hold the rope. Um, uh, Borky, your feet actually like slip forward um, as Whoa. the wind grabs you. And Greckles, you lose your grip on the rope, and then you, <laughs> you catch with your wrist thing, and you're like, all right, I'm good, until it snaps. Oh, no. no. And you begin to fly forward and begin to flip like arms be. And for a moment, you feel the sensation of flight. For just a moment. Oh, the your best arms, accident. Your arms outspread, your legs outspread, as you're kind of flying like a kite for a moment, being lifted fly, higher baby, fly. and higher <laughs> into the air. And then you're kind of pushed forward onto the opposite cliff edge where arms be in task is. And they're so, <laughs> they're like, a, they're like a <laughs> I need to roll another acrobatics check for me to land. You fly gracefully. 27. 27. Okay, that reduces the damage. Oh, you fly gracefully through the sky only to be embraced by the the, the, yeah. O's, become, the O's become A's. It's it's kind of like, I believe I can fly. Right. I believe, oh god, I'm gonna die. And then let's I believe, oh fuck, I'm gonna How high die. up am I? I'm curious. Oh, you're, I gotta actually find the calculator for this. I was about to say. <laughs> oh, I can't remember God. what it is. I think it's like 1d6 per 10 feet. I hope, I, I now yeah. I just, I can't see anything else but you family guy falling on. I know! Sorry, I'm just gonna double check just... you here. Uh, while, while 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 Monty's doing this, Borky's truly contemplating okay. if he pushed Tubbs into the hole, if he would you, fall. You 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 launched to... about forty feet beyond the cliff, like you went high. Um, so but you're gonna take reduced damage because you you passed your acrobatics check. Uh, it's still gonna probably not to be too. Oh, that's, that's, no, it's that's, bad. 
They're, uh, they're all criticals. That's high. That's high, but it's halved. So you get you take eight points of damage as you land face oh, first okay. into the dirt. Yeah, yeah. you're lucky it would have. Um, yeah. You land in basically sand because this thing's been gushing up air that's been breaking up the rock on the edge. Mm-hmm. Um, so you just get a big mouthful of gritty, earthy sand. It's just this. Oh, good landing. <laughs> Grickles, Grickles holds up a thumbs up palette. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's next? I flew. <laughs> Bor- Borky just leans, looks back to panic. Pa- panic. Yeah, I'm not so pa- sure about pa- this. No, 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 you got this. I mean, Greco's landed. He's he made it. Uh, barely. No big deal. I mean, are you saying you're not as good as Greco? I think yes. his beak's two inches in this to the particular left. Insta- in this particular instance, I am. Well, actually, I, I got to walk up. I got to carry him. Just, 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 Tars. And I got to carry him. I, I'm, I'm going to be assuming that we're just going to be... You, know, you only got one arm, so... Oh, shoot. All right, Panic, you, you got to go, Panic. You got to you gotta believe me. You got to believe me. You got to go before me. Why? <laughs> God damn it, boy. Because if it goes wrong, I got to make sure you're okay. And if something goes wrong with me and Taurus... I gotta make sure you're okay. You gotta make sure I'm okay. You know what? Screw it. Borky just. I got you. Borky just. No, you just Borky gotta make. Borky just wanders sure, over just to. Gotta make sure Taurus makes it, and you take the. Full- Bor- Borky. Okay. Borky. Okay. Okay. Now explain the rules. Grab Taurus. You have disadvantage me. on your athletics to take him up with you. God, damn it! That is not good. <laughs> no. I do not. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pitch you an adorable idea in. Okay. No. Borky, Borky starts thinking now how, how the rules of the the fanny pack of holding work. Can something be in it but have its head poking out? Does that count? Uh, no, you can't do that. I'm not gonna let that happen. Damn it! You could put him in there, but there's no air. He'll die. Yeah, I know. I, yeah. I'm not gonna do that. I want to see if he would well, sit in there. Well, he, can, he and... can hold his breath for uh, four minutes. Oh, that's more than okay. time. Well, we can what ties him to you, so he's in like a nice little harness. Okay, that's it. Strap him to me back. Do you guys have Alrighty. extra rope? Uh, does my priest pack have rope? I can't remember. Uh, let's uh, double check. I dropped it. Paddock, do you have rope for work? Uh, hmm. Let me see. Uh, no, you do not have rope. Oh. Uh, Digsby. Well, it was a nice idea. You have uh, your vestments. You have your clothes, but they're very nice. And you'd have to. Oh, you have a blanket. You could tear that up if you want to get rid of your blanket. Yeah, I tend that, to sleep means- in my shell. Yeah, that means you don't have a blanket. So if you want to do that, I'll let that happen. Okie dokie. I just start so, tearing it up you... with my uh, mouth right. and a uh, good arm. We're going to make you a nice little harness, doggy. Taurus eats a squirrel. Oh. <laughs> like, you just oh, you turn over to smile at him, and he just, like, sh- uh, like just pounces on a squirrel and just just grabs it, and it's gone. Like, it's in his mouth. Uh, is here. Oh, that's some extra weight he's got to carry. That's a good doggy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is he lashed to Borky? Yeah, it's now? like a baby, like the baby harness, like for dogs. Like a papoose. Yeah, except All it's right. like it's like his feet are sticking out the front. Now, if I go into a rage, do I get advantages on this? Um, <laughs> you technically get advantage on strength to, on on strength base. So that would action. even it out. It would just be a regular roll if you were to go into a rage. You wouldn't get advantage. Borky goes into a rage because he has to do this. Okay. And everyone's fighting back. That against that this. is your second rage for the day. Ah, uh, okay. Ugh. Alrighty, now I roll. Uh, yes, now you roll, and it's just a straight roll. It's it's uh, it's a, and I'm ro- I'm rolled. <laughs> um, athletics. 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 Uh, okay. Um... Borky Borky just like sits there, <sighs> like just chariots of fire start playing as Borky, and Borky goes for it and. 26. 26. You scream oh. angrily. You get a mouthful of bugs as you're like angrily, oh. like climbing up the like task and Greckles. You guys are like chatting, like, anyway, the game was great. You just are oh! getting louder and louder as you see Borky like hyper be- speed with Taurus currently on his chest climb up this rope and then like front flip and land on the other side. Oh. Oh. Get him off of me, task. He's so heavy. Borky just falls over. Oh, I'll, I'll take him out. <laughs> yeah, you just take a knife and you just cut him out. I'll say for the sake of that, you can't really reuse the blanket. 
Uh, but you, you two are on the other side. That leaves Panic and Digsby. Excuse me, sir. Would you help tie this to me? I won't make sure I got it to the curve for you when he's climbing up. But I only got the one arm now, and the Mr. Green Man's gone. Uh, do we have any more rope? Well, no, I just need to tie the end of it around me. Uh, yeah, the rope that's currently yeah, across the chasm. Uh, I got it. Oh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll help him. Uh, there we go. Thank you. Enjoy the climb. I won't. <laughs> I, I, I dig my shovel in just to make myself more of an anchor. Okay. Just into the dirt. Hmm. You can do it, Panic! You see his beak is like, bent like an accordion. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun! Mm. <laughs> oh. Alright, alright, fine, fine. Just... Alright! You guys realize we'll have to do this on the way back, right? No. no. Oh, I can't Dude, well, I, I can't dude fuck that, we'll just go around. Athletics? That's athletics, yeah. Twelve. Okay. Um, you scream a lot. There's a lot of yelling as well. You do get a few bugs as well. Um, you have you have you have jewelry on, don't you? Yes, I do. You have like the do you have like what are they? Quite, quite a bit. I have the I have a circlet of blasting. Mm -hmm. I have, I'm I'm sure I have an earring on here. Okay. Uh, I've got an ascending stone. I've got. <laughs> okay. Well, you're besieged by birds. That's all I'm gonna say. The birds <laughs> see the shininess to you, and you guys just watch as like panic is slowly climbing up this rope, and it's just like there's crows swooping at him. There's like random little starling <laughs> birds attacking him. Eventually, you make your way to the other side. You're not hurt. It's just. I just... <laughs> Am I missing anything? <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> I like to believe that everyone, while this is happening, while uh, off in the distance, panic screaming, there's like a back shot of everyone. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And a boy panic. Uh, <laughs> I hate this. All right, all right, get up, panic. We got one more to do. Borky takes to the front. Borky's still in rage, so he's. No, it's still, over. He's you didn't do combat. The way it works is every round you have to be attacking something. I let you do it just for fun, but I'm gonna say it's over now because the only way you can oh, you can no. keep up your rage is if you hit something, and obviously you're not gonna slaughter your friends. So, what if I hit the ground? No. As I landed? Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> this is this is this is shit. They always give us jobs to end the world or end us. Okay. Okay. It's called an adventure panel. We're gonna pick you up. Uh, Digsby reholsters his shovel, gets it strapped onto his back. All right. Takes a running leap and then tucks all of his limbs into his shell. Okay. <laughs> like a majestic turtle kite. Whee. You watch as he jumps right in. You guys taut the rope and he just does like a wide swing, like from the bottom up. You watch as I'll give you kind of a visual here. He starts here and then begins to swing upwards as the wind carries him aloft all the way up and he's launched into the air i need you to roll an acrobatics check with disadvantage because you're in your shell sure thing do, 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 do. <laughs> let me pull that back up acrobatics not my best nope that's an eight <laughs> uh, you guys i need everybody else to make a dexterity saving throw oh jeez. Oh, uh -oh. 23 25 14 you're good, you're good. Panic. Uh, there's a 19. 19, your guys are all fine. Oh, Tarsk. No, he's fine. He rolled a natural 19. Um, but, Digsby, not a good landing for you. You come in like a cannonball, and you, for the first time maybe in your life, dig a hole without using your arms as you land about probably a good three to five inches. Like, there's, you made a giant hole, and it's about three to five inch between you in the hole and like the, the top of the hole. Um, you, you take yeah. damage though. Whoa, there goes a the dice. I came in like a wrecking ball. No, good thing I dropped that one and came up as a one. So that is, ooh, that's 11 plus two plus one. That's, so uh, that's 11 plus two, that's 13 plus one, that's 14. You take 14 points of bludgeoning damage or falling damage technically as you come crashing into the earth, fa uh, earth, earth face down 
in your new newly made hole. Fourteen. There we right, go. Right in the earth. <laughs> Strike the earth. Hey. I I pop out. You okay? Hello. Yeah, I, 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 I boop myself on the head. You guys you guys actually look as his tail emerges at the top. Mm-hmm. His legs. <laughs> you're, you're currently face down in the dirt at the moment. Oh, hold on. Uh, uh. Hello, my name's Digsby. It's short for Diggs, but my mates call me Diggs. Your crawling hand just <laughs> reattaches to your hey, side. Hey, Ormsby, how have you been? It does like a peace sign. All right, I'm gonna start untying all of the rope and unanchor the grappling hook. Right. I use uh, I use my uh, lay on hands, to regain right. some of that health. Alrighty. Would you guys like to rest, or do you guys want to continue? Please. Forward? Yeah. We'll, 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 <laughs> we'll, 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 <laughs> Grickles in tears with the and asking, "Can we take a break, please?" Do you want to take a short rest, or do you want to take a long rest? Short rest. Short rest. Yeah. Short yeah rest. Short okay. rest. Long and I will. And I will. Uh, I will use long of rest as well, just to make sure everyone's healed up fully. Okay. So everyone, roll. I've already got. Oh no, it's me. So. Okay, thank you. And he's just tap. No, this is. Um, this, this is real healing. Real. This okay. It's real healing. Real <laughs> fake healing. <laughs> this is real, and it's happening. Three. <laughs> Uh, if you don't mind, Monty, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the illustration of the crater. Absolutely, yeah, you can delete all that. So three points I'll of. For you guys. Yeah. Three, three feeling, feeling, and then how much is short rest? Half of a roll, or? Uh, a short rest is. Let me find it. I actually just looked it up. A short rest is you can spend one or more hit die at the end of a short rest, up to the character's maximum number of hit dice. So you're a rogue, so you can roll um, level five. So you can roll five. Let me just double check what your dice is. It's uh, a D8. You can, yeah, you can roll five D8 to, to heal, or however many that you want oh. to heal. Cool. <laughs> there we go. Um, and you add your charisma modifier to it every oh. time you roll a dice. So that plus five. So you oh, heal for well 22. Then. Yeah, you're cool. fully good. Yeah. I, 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 un, like, like Daffy Duck just pulling my bill from the back of my head. To the... Yeah, you do just <laughs> snap it back into place. Oof. Uh, can we and... actually take a quick break ourselves? Yeah. Like the people? Yeah, I need a drink. That was kind of the idea, so. Okay, I'll be right back. Alrighty, oh. guys, thank you. Thank you. Probate doing a giant bit bomb in the middle of that session. My goodness. I'll be right back. Probate dropping 7,000 bits. I bl- or am I wrong about that? Or, God, how many bits? I don't. Then we have all up Streamlabs, and I'll find out, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. I hope you're having a lot of fun here, because that... <laughs> Monty, are you there? Hi. That was... Okay, I, I love stuff like that. I love... All right, how do we get across this thing? Hmm. We got Probate with 7,000 bits. Defective Sheep with 1,000 bits a couple times over. And I'll also thank you so much, uh, Kaiju Butin, for the four-month resub. Silent Jokes for the sub. Hey, I did art for Silent Jokes. Oh, awesome. Mm-hmm. Shadow Force 56, thank you for the sub. Uh, Joel Senpai, thank you for the two-month resub. I drew a cool uh, clown. That was fun. Testarossa Dragon. Thank you so much for the sub. And we also have Black Wingman. Thank you for the sub. I am actually going to get up and get some water, so I will be right back. Mega, Mega Q. Warnari. Thank you for the nine-month resub. Zeno Cthulhu. Thank you so much for the ten-month resub. And uh, Awkward Hylian, thank you so much for the 500 bits and change. Greatly appreciate it. Kenneth Mal- I'm not able to stay for the full session, but I love you guys. Thank you, Awkward Hylian. Kenneth Malonen, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the Shamrocks. 295 bits, thank you so much. Thunder King, coming in with 5,000 bits. Here's some of my tax refund for all the wind shenanigans. Enjoy. Yo, man, those 5,000 bits ain't flying up. Those are going straight in that cup. Feeding that good boy. Thank you so much, Thunder King, for the cake bomb. Thunder King, Ake, thank you so much for your support for the Unexpectables. It's really appreciated, dude. It's great seeing you here. And Mr. Perfect Jeff, 1,000 bits, the Burbman flew. Finally. It's true, Mr. Burbman did fly, Mr. Perfect Jeff. It was the perfect flight. Indeed. Guys, don't forget, also, thank you so much for all your support. Thanks so much for tweeting out about the show. And, oh my lord, having a lot of fun here. Goodness. 
I'm just, I'm really happy that Greckles flies. <laughs> I'm tempted to call the episode that episode Greckles flies this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Black Lake Sanji, 900. 5,000 bits. Love the session, guys. Also, money. I got an Ikvar Ratfolk character drawn by Yanashi. It's great. 5,000 bits for Black Lake Sanji. Black Lake Sanji, 900. Thank you so much for supporting the Unexpectables, dude. Always great seeing you in the chat there. And thank you for attending the show, dude. I'm back. Uh, Amon, do you know who Yanashi is? Uh, Yanashi. I don't, I don't. I don't know names. I'm terrible uh, with names. Uh, I'm back. But Black Lake Sanji, but Black Lake Sanji wanted to tell you that he had an Ikbar rat folk. And he was just like 100 bits. And thank you all, well, Mixter99. Real fast, I'm gonna go to the bathroom here, now yep. that you're all here. Uh, take over real fast for me. I am back. Just grabbed a handful of tater tots from dinner. <laughs> I hope you guys are okay with me checking the book. Oh, like a little bit more frequently. Just no problem. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Sorry about the net thing. I was like, oh shit. I didn't know. I had, that would like just take up all the actions. I I wasn't sure either. Special special weapons, quote unquote, are very weird. Mm. Um, I actually the reason why I actually remember that is because I actually um, made a character for Adventures League that I'm checking out, and that was one of the things I checked for. Um, and I know like the, like the Lance is like, if you actually have someone face to face with you, the Lance, you have disadvantage on it, uh, and stuff like that. And so I also like check the net and I'm like, I feel like I remember it. That's the only thing you can do with your action. Um, I'm, I'll double check though. I have people who I can ask and I'll just ask them and they're like, they're creditable. So that's, that's really good. Fair enough. <laughs> Give Either me some way, I, I, I... Fight me, my dude. Fight me <laughs> for my thoughts. <laughs> Mac and cheese, loaded mac and cheese and tots was my dinner. I was gonna draw the map, but I really like you guys drawing it better. And it's well, like I like that. I like that touch too. Yeah, and I I don't want to spoil anything, but it's it's very close. So oh, wow. Yeah. Like if you if you absolutely need to make changes, then by all means. But like. But it makes more sense if it's not like perfect because it's it's made it from like your guys's perspective. Yes, and real. F mm -hmm. Sorry, go on. You want to finish your thought real fast? I was going to say, and for those of you in the chat who are wondering what that neat little word is down under there, find yourself a draconic dictionary. Ooh, that's fun. All right, real fast, we've got some more bit call-outs to shout out here. Uh, probate, 1,000 bits. Unexpectables, the one where Greckles flies. <laughs> Cat Lyco, 500 bits. I paid off my student loans. Holy shit. Gotta celebrate. Gotta celebrate. Thank you so much, Cat Lyco. Congrats on paying those down. Drizmatech, 5 thousand bits whoa drizma tech thank you so much for the support for the unexpectables may not be able to stick around all night because i got army stuff tomorrow but making sure to throw in my bits yo drizma tech i hope everything goes okay tomorrow and thank you so much for the support and thank you for your service uh blood rick ritzler thank you for 250 bits be listening since episode one thank you for the laughs during the hard times i have over the year yeah no worries thank you so much for sticking around with us despite my legs sometimes uh, 321 Ajimo, 1,000 bits. Flight of the Kenku. Not bad, 321 Ajimo. Not bad. That is not a bad name. No, it's not. That's <laughs> that not bad at all. That You'd be proud of that name, 321 Ajimo. Thank you so much. Uh, Dragon Man, 999, 925 bits. Oh, real fast. We're going to get back to playing the game here. Hello, everyone. I have a few things to say. One, you guys are great. Two, nice to hint on lies to the little robot, Monty. And three, please don't murder the robot, Monty. <laughs> yes, you did. Tubbs, you murderer. You absolute murderer. I'm adding that yeah, part. You know what the, you know uh, the difference is? Is that I like this one. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Tubbs, when yes and goes too far. Uh, Warlock101985. 1,066 one thousand sixty six bits. Birthday, 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 birthday. Feeding the good boy. Thank you so much, Warlock. Studio fan, 500 bits. Bits for money for giving us another char great character. Long live log. LLL and Paqua, 1312, 500 bits. More cake. And one more. Jareth Strife, 1,050 bits. Throwing all that salt. So much sweet stuff here. Some salt. Thank you so much. All right. I think we're ready to go. Uh, anybody else wanting to do the short rest with health? Nah, I'm, I oh, I've got, I, I got, I okay. got mine. I got full health too. And I'm right. back up to full. All right, and then I know there's some spells that come back with a short rest, some that come back with a long rest. So you guys, our spell casters, are gonna have to uh, check uh, that. Uh, uh, all right, does, I'm back. How does that work? Uh, does short rest give me one rage back? Double does check it... your rage here. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure. Do I have one rage? I'm back. Uh, yeah, panic. As far as arcane spells go, what do you get back? You must finish rest? a long rest. 
So you do not get your ages back. Um, sorry, what was that? Oh, Gaijin? No. Oh, I was just asking um, Cnow if he knew off the top of his head if you get spell any spell slots back with the short um, rest. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, there are only some abilities that you can get back with a short oh, rest. Oh, 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 Kurt, you have three rages, so you've only used two, so you have one left. Woohoo! I still have you one have more one left. Yeah. In case. Um, but for the most part, spells you have to take a long rest to get back. Okay, that's fine. That's yeah, most, sure. most spells are are long. Um, but you guys do rest. You you eat some food. Um, I would say not writing off a ration. Um, and you guys drink uh, out of your water skins at this point, kind of getting empty. Um, and then uh, you see some birds kind of fly around and fly into the updraft. You see like big albatross, like hawks and, and eagles and all kinds of other strange types of birds. Uh, you do actually, as you're resting, you do see a griffin, but it doesn't appear to be interested in you guys. It just kind of flies off um, a wild griffin. You hear kind of mm. calling. Yeah. You see Task almost hit the earth, just like, what? No. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> Digsby's just looking at it with his dopey little smile. Hmm. Grickles actually hmm. looks at it very longingly, having... Oh. Having Got cut out. You oh, cut out there. Sorry. Grickles looks at it longingly, having tasted flight. Mm -hmm. It was good for, you know, the five seconds it lasted, and then earth. So what, so, so what did it feel like, Grickles? It was actually quite liberating. Mm. Until the Neat. ground came at me. Yeah, I came at Digsby too. Borky looks over at Digsby. He's very spinny. <laughs> <laughs> who flew higher? Uh, who did <laughs> flew higher? They flew about the same amount. Uh, Greckles flew a little bit higher. He's lighter. Plus, you guys are kind of pulling Digsby in a little bit, so. I'm going to assume that's how far we've gotten with the distance, at, unless it's longer. Uh, a little shorter, actually. Shorter? Okay. I'll you guys that. are resting right there, so. Um, so you guys get up, pack up, and kind of move on. Yeah. Uh, at this point, your indicator now is pointing you almost directly west. Ah, directly west? Okay. Uh, yeah. Let me go ahead and fix that. It could be that the wind maybe was messing with the the arcane property or something like that. Who knows? All right. So, how is that? That's perfect. Okay. All right. Um. So you guys, I assume, move on forward. Um. And I can get rid of the rushing wind sound because you are no longer near the updraft valley. What's a, what's our surroundings look like? Uh, field. Uh, there's no trees. Uh. I will it's, draw that. Any, any, is it like tall grass or like really short? It would be tall if it weren't fall. Mm. That rhymed. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's brown grass, um, kind of nearing its end for, for the year. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, it, it's not really high. You could have to, you'd have to get down all four, like all on all fours and you'd be prone. Oh, no, 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 I'm not worried about that. I was just legit curious about what the what oh, okay. it was like. Um, it's, it's just a lot of grass, like these wide, mm. expansive lengths. It's very flat, too. Uh, considering kind of the shifted terrain, it's like a slanted flatness um, kind of going down based off of the incline that you guys just dealt with. Um, you can roll a perception check if you'd like. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 23. Okay. Perception yeah. 13. 13. Anybody else? Okay, no, no, okay. okay, that's fine. Uh, there you go. And I will also so. Uh, it's okay. Twenty. You all might see something interesting. Um, um what you immediately yeah. notice is you kind of walk through this field. First of all, it's it's, it's expensive. There's rolling here, uh, rolling hills, and as the wind rushes through, you just see like a wave going over the grass and what remains of it. Hmm. Um, and as you look on, you actually see some wild horses. Oh um currently you mean long dogs yeah long dogs long faced dogs with weird feet um and they a few of them are kind of just like kicking up at the grass kind of eating what's left um and a few are drinking from uh, the other thing that you notice in this field uh various uh ponds like there's a bunch of spatterings of of pools of water oh can uh, we can we refill our skins i was about yeah. to ask 
Um, as you guys kind of get closer, the hor horses, like you hear one horse kind of like, <clears throat> and they all just <laughs> uh, run off. Hello. Uh, they don't say hello back, sadly, but in your heart they do. Uh, I'm going to roll survival and see if this water is clean. Okay. 23. 23. It's clear water. Um, you can roll an investigation check, too. Yeah, let's do that. 14. Do you see something at the bottom of the water? Ooh. Uh, we don't have anything that can fish that out. I do have a net, though. Yes, you do! Uh, crackles, let me grab, uh, let me grab your grappling. <laughs> Greg Greckles just puts up his town. I got this, and just jumps in. Oh. With, with hood up. You jump in? Okay, you jump in. Um, I need you to make a strength saving throw. Ooh, buddy. <laughs> oh. It happens instantaneously. Ooh, oh, no. <laughs> the moment. Oh, you failed to. Let me grab the stats. <laughs> oh, no. As have fun you, without some risk. As you flip up the hood and you jump into the water like a bear trap, the rim of the water task, you just get your nose out of the way. This thing snaps closed instantaneously. You see a row of blunted human teeth as this almost antlion style thing comes popping out of the ground. Uh, you failed. Let me grab the stats here for you real fast. And I got to get appropriate music for this. <laughs> Panic's just this? sitting there with, with like a mage hand floating beside him. He's just like, oh. <laughs> it's it's huge. This is massive too. Mm. Greckles so the, Greckles is swallowed. Um, we'll get to that here in a second. I gotta grab stats here oh. for what happens to Greckles here. How big is this? It's, thing? it's pretty big. Huge. It's massive. Uh, I need a fucking sarlacc. Did you? Yep. Yeah, you failed. Well, training. sounds like it. Uh, first of all, you take damage. So I gotta roll your damage that you just took. Uh, you take oof, eight points of uh, piercing. Oh wait, no, this is. Shoot, I didn't write down the type of damage this is. Uh, I'm going to say it's going to be, it's blunt teeth, so I'm going to say bludgeoning damage. Mm. Um, as your leg, uh, like your leg and the ankle are snatched up, you are immediately met with water, um, and you are restrained and blinded as you are now trapped, swirling inside of this thing. And it begins to move out of the ground. The gravel around it shakes and shimmers. Is anybody wearing gold? Is anybody wearing gold have coin on them or anything? What, I, what is the, uh, what is the circlet of blasting made out of? Uh, I'm gonna say it's not made out of gold. It's made out of okay. like a silver. Yeah, um, I, don't, I, don't, I left all my gold over at the hole. Okay, no one has yeah, gold yeah, on them? The gold, gold in the hole. All right, you watch Wait. as, mm -hmm. Um, Panic's guitar has that signature in gold leaf. Does that count? Uh... Okay, no, you're good. Um, okay. it's yeah, it's not enough. I'll say it's not enough. Uh, but emerging out of the ground comes this thing with the mouth closed. Uh, I'm gonna show it here. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh what? nice. That's cool. You are currently inside of it. The mouth is closed at the moment. You are currently inside of it. Uh, what's your constitution modifier? Oh, uh, zero. So you have one minute of air. Um, as you are, oh no, you're wearing the manta ray cloaks. You're fine. Yeah, but yeah. you're still restrained and blinded. Um, sure. That's why I'm not freaking out as much. <laughs> emerges out of the ground and kind of just leers and looks to you and kind of looks you up and down. I need everybody to roll initiative. Uh, quick, quick, how tall is this thing? Oh, this thing's about... Mm, ooh, how tall would it be? Let me just double check. Uh, can, you, can, can you kind of describe what it looks like for the uh, folks? For the folks um, at home, it is a giant, almost humanoid-shaped creature with long, digging claws, almost like an, like an anteater or a pangolin. It has a side maw, like a bear trap with uh, human teeth. Two piercing eyes are on the side of its head, not facing crocodile style, but like actually on the side of its head. Um, and it's currently gushing out water. There's water dripping from between the teeth and bellowing out at the moment. Oh, this is God. the second time in the night I rolled a nat one. Oh. That's not I, terrible, though. To be no, fair, I mean, it came out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's, uh, why am I grabbing the monster manual? This thing. I have, I have the worst luck with water, it seems. Well, yeah, and getting eaten by aquatic I'm creatures as well. This is the second time! Yeah, it is. Uh, so let's go Borky. 
But honestly, There's... better it be me than anyone else to get trapped in this thing. Greckles. Yeah, you have the cloaks. You're 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 doing pretty good. Did I see Digsby? Digsby didn't roll. Oh no, he did uh, roll. Sorry. Oh. I missed it. I'm so sorry. Uh Greckles. Oh, uh, then... can I ask you a quick question? Uh sure. Since that happened so quick, I wouldn't be able to um uncanny dodge any of that damage, could I? Uh I'm gonna say no for this. Yeah, I figured uh, that was so quick. It was so quick. It was a reaction as mm. well on its hat on its part. So uh, I'm gonna say no because it okay. was a surprise. Uh, panic, and then if you knew this creature, I would say yeah, you would get it. But because you right. have no idea what this is, uh, no. no. This is new. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to do uh, Digsby next. Yeah, this is probably this is this is probably huge, like huge category. Oh, it's it's pretty big. Uh, in fact, I will take you to the battle map. For yeah. Ooh. So we can battle. Oh, I gotta zoom out. Yeah. Uh, the anyway. so, uh, uh oh, what happened to that water? It became, uh, it became, that. became a thing. <laughs> became a thing. Um, God, alrighty. Was, four. Wasn't I near the water? You were, yeah, so I gotta move you guys into place here at the moment. You were right next to it. Ugh. That's a 12. That puts him right there. Okay. Marky, you see a giant maw just engulf Greckles and snap him up like a fish in the water. Greckles, no! Not again! (laughs) (laughs) Borky? Oh no, if there's water. Would Borky be smart enough to know not to throw the lightning spear into the thing? Roll an intelligence. It's full of water. Cause that could kill Crackles. I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm not gonna throw this. No, spear. roll no. an intelligence check. Shit. Two. <laughs> Good job. Uh, well, I guess it's up to you. I'll say up to you. Borky like pulls up the light, but about to throw it and sees the water pouring out. Borky remembers that that electro that water's scared of electricity that's why it lets it do anything it wants didn't you remember you, you, you just yeah you experienced the crocodile so yeah. i'll say for that you're like oh, i remember the crocodile oh. hmm. by the, the memories the memories connect yeah <laughs> brain blast bad <laughs> borky puts the spear away borky just pulls goes into a rage pulls up his axe and charges right at the fucking monster all right you charge at the ah! monster borky just runs right into it and Borky swings with the axe, 14. Uh, that that hits it, uh, but you swing right into a hard, like, shell plating on its side, and it just <laughs> turns and kind of peers at you with its tiny little beady eyes at the moment. As you kind of hit it, you see dirt fall off as you lift up your axe. You can roll it to attack again. So, like, dirt... Oh, oh. You knock dirt okay. off of it with your first attack, and it kind of has, like, a natural armor to it almost from its time in the ground. Very well then, Borky has no choice but to swing again! That one 17. hits. And eight. Eight points. Tw- ten, plus two, so ten. That's 10, perfect. You swing back and you're like, oh, that first hit didn't work, I'll just hit in the same place again. Then you do, and you manage to Ooh. break through the armor as you break down the rock that's kind of making up its, uh, its skin, so to speak. And it just, and water begins to kind of spew. And, and poor Greckles, you're kind of like whipped around inside. Like, kind of as this thing is swishing its head back and forth, its mouth closed. Uh, that leads us to Greckles. It is now your turn. I'm going to find something fleshy and stab the shit out of it. With you, my, are res- uh, you are restrained. Oh, it's restrained. Yeah, um, you're restrained at the moment. Is it just because like the water is vortexing? Uh, you're like pressed up, like with the flesh on the inside. Um, the water's still swishing around you. Like it's like you know, you've ever been like in a water slide? What's right? What? What's the fifth ed swallow rules? Fifth ed swallow? There's no real rules. There's a restraint. It's restrained uh, when you're swallowed. Okay. Yeah, you're not grappled. You're restrained. Okay. Um, I wasn't swallow. sure. I wasn't sure if that was the whole cut a- out. Of- a restrained creature's speed becomes zero, and it can't benefit from any bonuses to its speed. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. The creature has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. You can make a strength saving throw, or um, you can attempt a strength saving throw to get out, though. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, I will say you can't do that. And that's a saving. You said saving throw? Saving throw, yeah. Okay. 17. Uh, you manage it. Um, as Borky, you're just like cutting into him. You guys just watch as like something out of like a dinosaur movie as Greckles is pushing this thing's mouth open just barely. Um, and I want you actually to, you know what? No, I'll be nice. You manage to kind of like jump out as the mouth comes <laughs> snapped together again. Oh, can I, I, I will totally acrobatics check if I can flip. Yeah, ac acrobatics check to 19. see. 19. Yeah, you flip. You, you flip nice. and you land on the ground. Not terribly gracefully given that you're a little dis, just like everything's kind of crazy right now. That's no, all good. That gives it back its bite. All right. Uh, free, free Greckles too. <laughs> free Greckles too. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. It wasn't uh, as exciting as the first one. Uh, I will say that does take your turn, though. That's to do fine. That. That's fine. Uh, it is now its turn. It uh, sees you leave, um, and it kind of is very upset about that. But right now, it's currently more concerned with the person who is attacking it. It is going to... How is um, it? What are you going to do? Hit me really hard? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? It shoots a bolt of lightning. How far does this go? Sorry. Uh... <laughs> Gotta love homebrew creatures, chat. Yeah. Ooh, that does go 40 feet. All right, excellent. Um, uh, excellent. <laughs> uh, Bigsby and Borky, I need you guys to make a strength saving throw. Okay, oh my god. Is he going to hydro pump them? We'll find out. Go for it, Digsby. Saving throw. There we go. Bloop. Oh boy. That's, that's a fail. 22. 22. That's a pass. Uh, ba, 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 ba. All right. Nick, that's an eight. Oh no. Uh, Borky, you watch as the thing like swings its head down, unhinges its jaw, just open like, like a flower. And you just see a geyser of water erupt right in your face. Um, you take. You need to stop oh. predicting these things. Yeah, yeah, it's really. You do it every time. And I'm like, God damn it, Snake. <laughs> <laughs> um, Borky, you take three points of bludgeoning damage. Hello, my name is down. That, that is that is not that is your reduced damage with your rage. Oh, it is. Dang, because I want to be oh, half wait. down to one. Hold on, hold on. Wait, no, you passed. So that is one actually. Uh, Digs Yay! Digsby, one point of damage. You take the full brunt of it. You take seven points of oh. bludgeoning damage, and you're knocked back fifteen feet, which means okay. you knock back into the to the rock. Wall. Yeah, I want you Hello, to Hello, my name's Digsby. It's short for <laughs> <laughs> Um, I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me for hitting the rock. Oh, yeah. You are uh, Digsby's not quick on the punches. <laughs> it's a turtle. Quick, quick okay. swim, it's their natural habitat. You will take reduced damage for this. Uh you, Don't you, remember? you take an additional three points of bludgeoning damage as your shell smashes right into that rock and the okay, water is so. just like blasting you in place and then eventually stops. How much is that total? Ten? Uh, that was three plus seven. Yeah, so ten points okay. of damage. And you begin to see as this thing begins, like, it flips back up vertically, and you begin to see more water just flowing out of its, between its teeth at the moment. Okay. Uh, that ends its full action. They can't do anything else. And that brings us to, uh, where's my, sorry, initiative alert. Oh, it's over here. Uh, that brings us to panic. It is now your turn as you watch this giant thing kind of lumbering. It's still kind of getting out of the ground a bit, and it's just like a basin spilling water side to side. Okay. Um... Vicious mockery? I'm thinking... Alright. Oh, I... Oh, you can't say anything. Damn it. <laughs> I believe in you. All right, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move a little bit down and lower, just in front of Tarusk, just I behind. Let's recharge. One second. Okay. Uh, and let's see. I am 20 feet away from him. I am going to be like, no, bad tooth monster thing. We don't eat Greckles. Vicious mockery. Okay. <laughs> Uh, can you click it for me? I thought I, I just did. Bad tooth monster. Hang on. Let me let me click the actual attack. The bad tooth. We need we need tartar creeps. Oh, that's a three. That's oh, it's a strength saving throw. It it is. 
What? Uh, Why is it saying I strength? Like that. I that's like a that's wisdom. Correct. That's that, a wisdom saving throw. That nice. might need to be fixed inside the mechanics. Hang on. Yeah, hang on. yeah that's a glitch. I don't know what happened yeah, there. Yeah, it's a wisdom. It's a wisdom saving. Throw. Yeah. Okay. Well, it rolled a three. Uh, minus. Uh, yeah, it just has a three. Um, it like 